Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Desert Lord, Random Super Divine Level Talent at the Start. Chapter 1, Holy Continent, Carol Desert, located on the shores of Sapphire Lake in a golden oasis. Under a fruitful date palm tree, three figures stood. Young people, old people, and a pretty little maid. That day when I was escaping from the royal capital, I heard the voice of God. I will become the messenger of the gods, raise the battle flag of faith, destroy the kingdom of Stanlow, and end this world filled with chaos and decay. This is the starting point of destiny. The young man who spoke was named Landleton Lin Yi, the direct bloodline of Tulip family. Destroying the kingdom of Stanlow, isn't this rebellion? The old butler Hodern was startled, and hurriedly helped the young man to the shadow. Master, we have traveled a long distance across the sand sea to come to this golden oasis. I think you must be tired and need to take a good rest. The old man's face was full of worry. He thought that this must be the destruction of the Tulip family and the unfair trial of the Earl and Countess by the kingdom, which caused his young master's mental problems. This is also the ending that the fatuous old king wanted to see. My dear old butler, I am not hallucinating. Lin Yi had a smile on his face. The eternal gods have given me great divine power and allowed me to build a glorious kingdom in this golden oasis, a powerful kingdom that can change the order of the world. Hearing this, the old housekeeper and the little maid were even more worried. Just wanted to say something. Lin Yi had already walked to an open space not far away. As he waved his right hand, a bright golden light instantly tore through the void and enveloped the open space. Immediately afterwards, an exquisite wooden house appeared out of thin air. The goddess of magic is on top. The old butler who owed Dean's body suddenly froze in place, and his cloudy eyes widened. Maid Sally was also stunned. Expression of disbelief. Master, this, is this magic? This is the power of God. Lin Yi looked excited and looked towards the wooden house. Immediately, an information bar that only he could see appeared in his field of vision. Village hall. Level. Low level. Unlock buildings. Fences. Houses. Upgrade requirements. 500 units of wood, 500 gold coins. At the same time, information appeared in his mind. You have successfully built the core building of the territory the village hall. Closing square bracket. The golden oasis will serve as the jurisdiction of your territory. Any unauthorized entry into the golden oasis will be considered an invasion. Closing square bracket. Congratulations, you have become a lord. Closing square bracket. You get a newbie gift package. Closing square bracket. Opening gift pack. Congratulations, you have obtained the Super Divine Level Lord Talent, Myriad Races Favored One, you have obtained a unit building, and you have obtained an initial 300 gold coins. Closing Square Bracket. Unit Building. A certain number of units can be recruited every day. Lord Talent Myriad Races Favored One, the territory adds a random race military building every week. Opening Lord Mission Template. Main Mission. Improve the level of the village hall and upgrade it to a small town. Task Reward. Randomly obtain a Lord Talent. Side Mission 1. Have a Territorial Regiment of 100 people. Task Reward. 200 Gold Coins. Lord Level increased by 1 level. The upper limit does not exceed the 7th level of Ordinary Profession. Side Mission 2. Kill 30 Sandworms trying to invade your territory. Task Reward. A Bag of Magical Red Dragon Fruit Seeds. Super Divine Level Lord Talent. Lin Yi suppressed her inner excitement. The so-called messenger of the gods was naturally made up by him. This is the Lord system that comes with his transmigrate. If it weren't for the fact that the transmigrated Tulip family were suddenly wiped out by the kingdom of Stanlow, he would have already established a territory and started recruiting troops. As for why he appeared in this barren Karar desert, that was purely because of the random teleportation magic scroll pot used when escaping from Stanlow kingdom. His ideal territory location should have been in the Forest of Life. Although it is the territory of the nature elves, it is rich in products. However, it's not all bad for the territory to be built in the Karar Desert. At least in the early stage, you don't have to worry about being besieged by a large number of monsters. In addition, the Forest of Life is located in the northeast of the Kalar Desert. When my territorial army develops, I will march towards the Forest of Life. Then I will cross the Forest of Life and kill the adjacent Stanlow Kingdom. He is still very angry about what happened to the transmigrated family. 
At this moment, the old housekeeper and maid Sally standing next to Lin Yi had come to their senses. Both of them were trembling. Shock, excitement, and excitement were all mixed together. What the young master said is true. He is the messenger of the gods in the mortal world and controls the power of the gods. Praise the goddess of life, praise the goddess of magic, praise all the gods in the world. The great tulip family is expected to be revived. The old butler who Odin was so excited that he was incoherent. The maid Sally looked at Lin Yi's back with admiration. At this moment, a cloud of yellow sand and dust suddenly erupted from a sand dune in the distance without warning, followed by the howling of a monster. Master, what is that? Sandworm. Lin Yi didn't panic. He had been reminded of the Lord's side quest. Holden immediately took out his magic wand and said, Sally, take the young master into the cabin to rest, and I'll kill those ugly underground monsters. The old butler looks old, but he is a seventh level high level magician. The strength is still very strong. Without his protection all the way, it would be difficult for Lin Yi to safely cross the vast sea of sand and reach the golden oasis. Old housekeeper, please be patient. Lin Yi grabbed Huo Din who was about to enter rampage mode. Then he pointed to an open space and built the military building. Under the shocked gazes of Holden and Sally, another golden light emerged from the void, covering the open space not far away. After a while, a building similar to a hall appeared. The appearance is magnificent. There is also a square at the entrance of the hall. In the center of the square stands a huge war drum, with bright red flags hanging around it. This military building covers a large area. When it was built, more than a dozen date palm trees and two piles of giant pillars were disappeared, which made Lin Yi feel a little distressed. These are all sources of food. What is most important to survive in the desert? Food and water. I need to level up the village hall as soon as possible. Expand territory. This way, I will have more open space to build other territorial buildings. While thinking about it, the information about military buildings also appeared in Lin Yi's field of vision. Royal Knight Training Ground. Level. Level 1. Recruitable Troops. Royal Knights. Recruitment Quantity. 10 Royal Knights can be recruited every day. Closing Square Bracket. Upgrade Requirements. 1000 Gold Coins. Special Reminder 1. Upgrade the level of the military building to recruit more military units. Closing Square Bracket. Special Reminder 2. The Royal Knight is a cavalry unit. Equipping it with suitable riding pets can greatly improve the Royal Knight's combat effectiveness. Closing square bracket. Comma. Master, what kind of building is this? The old housekeeper Hodern asked with a surprised look on his face. Lin Yi said, this is the Royal Knight's training ground. It can summon powerful Royal Knights for me. It won't be long before we have a well-trained Royal Knight's core. While talking, a group of figures appeared in the square accompanied by a golden light. A total of 10 figures. All of them are well armed and tall. They come standard with a knight's broadsword, a knight's deputy buckler, and a silver white knight's armor that covers the whole body. At this time, the knights came. It exudes a strong chilling atmosphere. When they came to Lin Yi, the 10 royal knights immediately touched the ground with the tips of their swords and knelt down in front of Lin Yi. Loyalty is faith. Great lord, the royal knights swear to be loyal to you to the death. Get up. Lin Yi suppressed the trembling in her heart and raised her hand. At the same time, he also saw the military information of the Royal Knights. Royal Knight. Grade. Middle Level Arms. Initial Level. Level 5. Growth Potential. King Level. Characteristics. Loyalty, Bravery and Fearlessness. Comma. Professional Levels in the Holy Continent. From low to high, they are divided into levels 1 to 9, King Level, Transcendent, Sanctuary, Demigod, and Titled Asian God. Among them, Levels 1 to 9 are Ordinary Professionals. The first three levels are Low Level, the middle three levels are Intermediate, and the last three levels are High Level. The Old Butler Huodin is a seventh level High Level Magician. Comma, the Goddess of Magic is here. The Old Butler Hodern recited a mantra in a trembling voice. He looked at these royal knights armed to the teeth with great shock, and his inner world was filled with huge waves. God's creation. This is the power of God. No wonder my young master intends to rebel. Lin Yi said to the old steward Huo Din, leave the next battle to them. Only in the war of blood and fire can the troops grow rapidly. Okay, master. 
Hodern nodded immediately. He was happy to see these royal knights charging into battle for his young master. In this way, he can free up his hands to guard his young master's side. After receiving Lin Yi's war order, the ten royal knights immediately clenched their knight swords and ran straight towards the surging sand dunes not far away. After a while, a fight broke out. Sandworms several meters long burst out from under the yellow sand. The royal knight pounced on Lin Yi with lightning speed. The appearance of these sandworms looks like worms magnified countless times. No eyes or ears. One has a big mouth densely covered with countless sharp teeth. There are also a large number of barbs and spikes under the body, which allow them to swim quickly in the sand sea. In addition, they are covered with fine downy hair. Through these fluff, they can clearly sense the movement of the ground. Once prey approaches, they will immediately dig out of the sand, open their mouths and swallow the prey. Unfortunately, these sandworms are out of luck. What they encountered were well-armed royal knights, and their level was even higher than them. Sandworm is a low-level monster. Ordinary sandworms only have levels 1 to 3. Sandworm elites can reach level 3 or above. Most of these sandworms that emerged from the sand were just ordinary sandworms. Only one sandworm was an elite monster, level 4, and even larger, at least 5 meters tall. If it is encountered by ordinary people, it is designated to be cool. Knight Slash A royal knight leapt high, the knight's sword in his hand blooming with golden light. As the sword slashed down, the cuticle of the sandworm was cut open instantly. Then, the entire body was cut into two pieces by the big sword. Green liquid and foul-smelling guts were oozing all over the floor, looking absolutely disgusting. The other royal knights also entered fighting mode, waving their knight swords and forcibly killing the sandworms one after another. The attack of sandworms does not pose much threat to the royal knights. Even if an unlucky royal knight is swallowed by them, the next second you will see the sandworm's stomach being cut open with a big sword, and a green armored figure will emerge from it. The difference in strength reflected by level cannot be reversed by body size. Soon, the battlefield was littered with sandworm corpses. There are about a dozen of them. Roar, elite level sandworm roared angrily. Then, it plunged into the soft yellow sand. This elite sandworm is slightly more intelligent and wants to run away when the situation is bad. But at this moment, a royal knight suddenly arrived, pierced its tail with a sword, and forcibly dragged it out of the sand. At the same time, another royal knight appeared. He chopped off the golden knight's sword towards the head of this elite sandworm. These royal knights have quite a lot of combat experience. No less than a battle-hardened veteran. The old butler Hodern looked towards the battlefield. In those royal knights, he saw very superb combat skills and the war literacy that only soldiers who have fought in hundreds of battles have. Among the former Tulip family, only a few old knights had such qualities. As a high-level magician, he didn't know it. After all, he is just a butler. At this time, Holden felt that the magic power fluctuations in his young master suddenly increased several times. He was suddenly surprised and said, Master, have you been promoted? Good. Lin Yi nodded. His body is not very talented. He began to exercise his physique at the age of 10, and became a knight's apprentice at the age of 12. At the age of 14, he was promoted to an official knight. Now 19 years old, he is only a third level low level knight. But after unlocking the status of lord, talent and other things are no longer important to him. Because the troops under his command kill enemies, he can also share the enemy killing experience and thus advance in level. Just now, he had a level breakthrough. Reached level 4. Now he is an intermediate knight. In addition, his native profession can no longer restrict him. When using knightly combat skills, he is a knight. When casting magic skills, he is a master mage. His improvement is all round. Physical fitness, magic power, mental strength, etc. will all increase comprehensively when the level is promoted. This is the Lord, comma, the goddess of magic bless you. The old butler who Odin said to Lin Yi with great excitement, young master will definitely become a powerful man in the holy realm who is powerful in the future. Lin Yi just smiled when he heard this. The goal of a strong man in the holy realm was too low for him. As long as he has a large enough legion, he will continue to wage wars with foreign countries. His level can rise all the way. Demigods, titled sub-gods, are not out of reach. Ten royal knights returned from cleaning the battlefield. 
Hand over to Lin Yi a dozen sandworm skins, a pile of complete sandworm teeth, and seven gold coins. Sandworm skin and sandworm teeth were dissected. Gold coins are exploded from killing monsters. The former can be stored temporarily and turned into equipment after you have the blacksmith shop. Even if he doesn't need it, he can still sell it to the caravans passing through the Golden Oasis or the sand people living in the Karar Desert in exchange for the supplies needed for the territory. It's almost like a game. Killing monsters can gain experience and explosive items. Lin Yi looked at the golden coins in his hand. This is good stuff. Can be used to upgrade village hall and unit building. It is worth mentioning that this kind of gold coin is different from the gold coins of Stanlo Kingdom. There is a big difference in appearance. In addition, he cannot use Stanlo Kingdom gold coins to upgrade his territory buildings. Because he just tried it. He has more than 1,500 gold coins from the Kingdom of Stanlo in his hand. It is an escape fund. I wanted to use it to upgrade the military building Royal Knight Training Ground but I was told that it couldn't be used. Pity. If it works, this gave him another excuse to declare war on Stano Kingdom. As if he sensed the regret in Lin Yi's heart, a row of information suddenly appeared in his mind 10 common gold coins of the Holy Continent can be exchanged for one Lord Gold Coin. Closing square bracket. Can it be redeemed? This is so thoughtful. Lin Yi couldn't help but feel happy. Without hesitation, he exchanged all the gold coins of Stanlo Kingdom into Lord Gold Coins. He also emptied the small treasury of the old housekeeper and made Sally. A total of more than 400 Lord Gold Coins were exchanged. Lin Yi. Identity. Lord, Viscount of Stanlo Kingdom. Territory. Golden Oasis. Level. Ordinary Level 4. Lord Talent. Myriad Races Favored 1, Super Divine Level. Gold Coins. 749. As long as I get more than 200 gold coins, I can upgrade the Royal Knights Training Ground. Then increase the number of Royal Knights recruited. Then Lin Yi looked at his Lord Talent. This Super Divine Level Talent allows his territory to add a random race military structure every week, which is simply invincible to him as a Lord. As a Royal Knight of the Middle Level Unit, his combat effectiveness is so amazing. It would be even more exciting if you randomly find a high level unit building, or even a more awesome divine level unit building. Lin Yi said to the royal knights who were lined up neatly, go patrol around the territory and kill all the sandworms you find. As you command, great lord. The royal knights respectfully obeyed. Then he walked towards the sand sea outside the oasis with his big sword in hand. After they kill another dozen or twenty sandworms, Lin Yi's second side mission will be completed. At this time, the maid Sally suddenly asked, Master, what should we do now? Sally is one year younger than Lin Yi. She is Lin Yi's personal maid. Taking care of Lin Yi's daily life. Although she was wearing a long linen dress, her beautiful and delicate appearance could not be concealed. She has long golden hair and emerald green eyes. The skin is not rough, but rather delicate. It has a milky white texture. Many aristocratic women do not have such physical conditions. It can be seen that the Count and his wife spent a lot of time to choose a suitable maid for him. Compared to the old housekeeper Hodern, Sally has been serving Lin Yi longer. I also became closer to Lin Yi. Lin Yi said, we need to collect and store some food and clean water. Due to their haste to escape and the consumption along the way, the supplies of the three of them were almost exhausted. Fortunately, we arrived at Golden Oasis in time, otherwise the ending would be unpredictable. Sapphire Lake, a golden oasis, has ample water. You can drink it after boiling. There are also some date palm trees and giant columns around the lake. The fruits of date palms and giant pillars are both edible. The giant's column is actually a giant cactus. It doesn't bear many fruits, which can barely supplement a few calories. Just do it. The old steward Hodern went to collect dates and giant pillar fruits. The maid Sally took the kettle to fetch water. Lin Yi walked around Sapphire Lake to see if there was anything else to gain. Along the way, he encountered several rotten animal carcasses and some animal bones by the lake. These things had to be disposed of. I originally planned to find the old butler Hodern. Lin Yi suddenly had a flash of inspiration. He carefully recalled the fireball magic runes he had learned from Huodin before. After several rounds of attempts, 
the magic power in his body suddenly surged out, and then condensed into a fist-sized fireball above his palm. So simple. Lin Yi was a little surprised. After becoming a lord, it seems that it is not difficult to cast magic skills that were previously unavailable. You can learn more magic in the future. In the end, there are many skills but no one is overwhelmed. Lin Yi waved his right hand, and the fireball immediately flew out. Just in the blink of an eye, the rotting animal carcasses were burned to ashes. Lin Yi followed the same method and disposed of all other corpses and bones to prevent these things from continuing to pollute the water environment of Sapphire Lake. In the desert, water is more precious than gold. In the future, caravans or sand people passing through Golden Oasis who want to get the water of Sapphire Lake will have to buy it from him, unless their fists are bigger than his. Half an hour later, Lin Yi returned to the village hall. In his hand was a gray and white rattlesnake. This was an ordinary creature in the Karar Desert, not even a low-level monster. It was trampled to death by Lin Yi with one kick. Just right for dinner. Here, the old butler who owed Dean also came back and said to Lin Yi, Master, we are about to face a big problem, and that is the food crisis. He succeeded in collecting some date palms and giant pillar fruits, but the quantity was too small. This made the old butler a little worried. I just did some statistics. There are 35 date palm trees in the oasis. But only 14 date palms have ripe fruit. Although there are many giant pillars, there are too few fruits. The old butler who owed Dean said to Lin Yi, Now that the young master has added 10 more royal knights to his territory, I am afraid that this little food will not last long. Lin Yi nodded. Soldiers also need to eat. Tomorrow, he will recruit 10 more royal knights. If the level of the Royal Knights training ground increases, the number of Royal Knights recruited tomorrow will be even greater. There are more people, food consumed will naturally increase. Therefore, solving the food problem is the top priority now. Lin Yi said with a smile, Grandpa Huo Dean, don't worry. We have passed the most difficult time, and this small problem will not trouble us. Wait for side mission 2 to be completed. He will get a bag of magical red dragon fruit seeds. That's one of the sources of food. In addition, there are other monsters in the desert. Although the sandworm has no meat on its body, it does not mean that other monsters cannot eat it. For example, the desert gray wolf. If a pack of desert gray wolves can be surrounded and suppressed, the meat problem can be solved in a short time. In short, no problem is unsolvable. Just depends on how to do it. Looking at Lin Yi with a relaxed expression, the old butler who owed Dean said with emotion, since coming to this golden oasis, the young master has obviously become more confident. If the Earl and the Countess know about it, they will definitely be very happy. But Lin Yi said, they will be even happier when I return to the capital of Stanluo Kingdom in the future. Huo Dean nodded solemnly. When he first learned that Lin Yi was going to rebel, he was shocked and horrified. Now, he is focused on accompanying Lin Yi in the rebellion. After all, this is the will of the gods. It's late afternoon. The temperature in the Karar Desert has dropped significantly. The temperature difference from the daytime is at least 20 degrees, and it is still falling. By late at night, the lowest temperature could reach about minus 10 degrees. Lin Yi, the old housekeeper who owed Dean, and the maid Sally lit a bonfire and sat around the square of the Royal Knights training ground eating steaming roasted snake meat. The Royal Knights are also back. They had already eaten the dry food and dates that Lin Yi asked the old butler to send, and were patrolling the oasis in case any monsters attacked their lord at night. During the afternoon patrol, the royal knights killed about ten more sandworms. Next, you only need to kill a few more, and Lin Yi's second side mission can be completed. Master, beside the campfire, the old butler who owed Dean said to Lin Yi, As far as I know, the most numerous people in the Karar Desert are sand people. They have even established a country in the north. In addition, there are many strongholds of other races in this sand sea. For example, Nalls, Goblins, Gobi Dwarves, Lizardmen, etc. These are evil creatures. Once they discover that we occupy the Golden Oasis, they will definitely come over and destroy us as soon as possible. Lin Yi nodded. He took the warm water from Sally and took a sip. It tastes sweet with a little honey in it. What we need to do next is to accumulate strength and recruit more royal knights. When we are strong enough, even if they don't come, we will take the initiative. 
In a few days, I will prepare the royal knights to expand the patrol area. Look for those strongholds hidden in the Sea of Sand. By the way, I'm afraid you, the old man, will also be able to do something about it by then. Hearing this, the old housekeeper who owed Dean nodded solemnly. It is his responsibility and obligation to serve the blood of the Tulip family. His only wish now is to see the Tulip family's flag replanted on the land of Stanlow Kingdom before he closes his eyes. Although I am old, the source of magic power in my body has not dried up. Even if I encounter a high-level monster, I can still fight it. Lin Yi said with a smile. My dear Grandpa Butler, you still have a long way to go in the future. Like those royal knights, you can also advance in level by killing enemies. From now on, you will at least be a strong transcendent. Lin Yi used the Lord's means to check Huodin's information. This old butler clearly has the potential for growth at the transcendent level, which is higher than that of the royal knights. In other words, just keep killing enemies. Hodern can be promoted to transcendent very smoothly and live a new life. Master, can I really do this? The old butler who owed Dean stood up suddenly. His level has been stuck at level 7 high-level magician for many years. As I get older, his prospects for promotion also became increasingly slim. Over the years, he has even given up the pursuit of more powerful magic and devoted himself to serving the Tulip family. But he didn't expect that he would have a chance to go further. Certainly, Lin Yi said, you can definitely achieve your transcendent dream. Praise the goddess of magic. Holden was so excited that he almost burst into tears. Sally on the side quickly asked, Master, what about me? Lin Yi leaned close to the little maid's ear and whispered, You are even more powerful, you have the appearance of a saint. Hearing this, Sally was so happy that she almost fainted. The young master is the messenger of the gods and will definitely not deceive her. In fact, Lin Yi did not fool Sally. After seeing Sally's growth potential, he was really shocked that she actually reached the Holy Realm level. He planned to focus on training this beautiful little maid next. Start by learning the fireball technique. After mastering the skills, she can go to the battlefield to gain experience. Comma, first night at Golden Oasis. Lin Yi sleeps in the climate-controlled village hall. There is no bedroom, so I can only sleep on the floor, holding a soft little maid in my arms. The old butler who owed Dean adhered to the rules of the noble family and never took a step closer to the village hall, preferring to stay vigil with the royal knights. There is nothing Lin Yi can do. We can only think about building residential houses as soon as possible. Residence. Construction requirements. 100 units of wood. Special reminder. Low-level residences can accommodate five people. Upgrading the level of residences can increase the number of residents. Closing square bracket. In the southeast of the Golden Oasis, there are some desert green plants. It looks a bit like a tree-type populous Euphratica. Tomorrow, the Royal Knights can cut down those trees and turn them into construction lumber. The night passed and the sun rose high. The temperature in the desert began to rise rapidly. It reached a very hot level in a short period of time. After a simple breakfast, Lin Yi opened the Lord Mission column to check. Side Mission 2 has been completed. The Royal Knights who were keeping watch last night killed another batch of sandworms wandering near the oasis. Not only did they meet the number of kills issued by the mission, but they also brought Lin Yi a harvest of more than a dozen gold coins. In addition, Lin Yi also successfully received the task reward. Magical Red Dragon Fruit Seeds. Item Information. Plant in the empty area of the territory, and you will get a small orchard where you can pick red dragon fruits. Closing Square Bracket. Comma. At the same time, a new side mission 2 has also been refreshed. Side mission 2. Task Information Retrieval. Residential buildings are essential basic buildings in a territory. They can provide a good living environment for the people under your command and improve the prosperity of the territory. Closing square bracket. Task content. Build at least three residential buildings. Task reward. 100 gold coins, a bottle of fast plant growth potion. Comma. Seeing this mission, Lin Yi immediately summoned the royal knights from the territory. They were given the task of cutting down the populous Euphratica forest. At the same time, let them cut down all the trees in the oasis that were of little use. Building houses and upgrading village halls all require wood. Have to say, wood is also a scarce resource in the desert. 
If a caravan passes through the Golden Oasis, he will definitely include wood as one of the trading items. Master, the old butler who owed Dean came towards me. After staying outside all night, the old mage was in high spirits. At midnight last night, the royal knights killed a batch of sandworms, and I also participated in the battle. As the young master said, when I killed the sandworms, I felt a special energy pouring into my body. After so many years, the barrier that restricted me to level 7 has actually become looser. Praise be to the eternal gods. This time, Huoden stopped praising the goddess of magic. Because this ability was given to him by the young master, and the young master is the messenger of the gods. Lin Yi said with a smile, it seems that you are not far away from being promoted to level 8. Yes, master, I have a hunch that I will be able to break through soon. Hodern said excitedly. Hearing this, Lin Yi was also very happy. The old butler's strength has become stronger, which can help him deal with more problems and kill higher level monsters. And as a lord, he gained even greater benefits. Comma. In the blink of an eye, Holden left the oasis again and went hunting for sandworms. There was simply no time to spare. Lin Yi came to the open space not far from the Royal Knight's training ground, holding a small grey cloth bag in his hand. Master, what are you going to do? Maid Sally followed Lin Yi and asked doubtfully. Lin Yi said, plant fruit trees. Ah, the pretty little maid looked surprised. Then she saw her young master take out a handful of red seeds the size of rice grains from the bag and sprinkle them on the empty lawn in front of her. According to common sense. It is almost impossible to grow fruit trees in this kind of lawn and green space. Because there is still desertification in the underground soil. Not fertile enough. The date palm trees in the oasis have gone through countless growth cycles before they were lucky enough to survive. It is too difficult to grow fruit trees from just a handful of seeds. However, soon, a scene appeared in front of her eyes that made the maid Sally's eyes widen. Lin Yi was also stunned. Just because the seeds he spilled sprouted roots and buds as soon as they came into contact with the ground, and then grew wildly at a speed visible to the naked eye. It only takes a few minutes. A mature orchard appeared in front of the two of them. That's a hundred red dragon fruit trees. Every fruit tree is full of fruits and exudes a strange aroma. This, this is simply a miracle. It's really amazing. Lin Yi secretly sighed, the Lord system is really awesome. At the same time, information about the orchard also appeared in Lin Yi's field of vision. A small orchard, fruit tree type, red dragon fruit. Quantity, 100 plants. Growth status, mature and ready for picking. Growth cycle, half a month. Special reminder 1. Ripe fruits need to be picked within 2 days, otherwise they will automatically spoil. Orchards can be dug up and moved, but fruit trees cannot be cut down to collect wood. Closing square bracket. Special reminder 2. Fruits can be stored in the territory warehouse for long-term preservation. Closing square bracket. Comma. Red dragon fruit. A low-level demonic fruit. Closing square bracket. Eating effect. Produces body fluids, quenches thirst, satiates hunger, and has 100 times more carbohydrates and energy than beef. Long-term consumption can slightly enhance the physical fitness of professionals. Closing square bracket. Lin Yi picked two fruits casually, handed one to the little maid, and ate one herself. It tastes sweet and has a special aroma. As a rare magic element fruit, even if the red dragon fruit is low level, it can still be sold at a good price in Stanlo Kingdom. You can pick it once every half a month. Now, the food problem in a short period of time has been solved. Lin Yi said to the maid Sally on the side, Our task today is to pick all the red dragon fruits in this orchard. If you pick it one day earlier, the red dragon fruit tree can enter the growth cycle one day earlier. For the time being, he does not need to consider the problem that the red dragon fruits picked will spoil without a warehouse. Because there is a lack of food in the territory. Plus he recruits a new group of royal knights every day. The demand for food is only going to grow. Moreover, as a fruit containing magical power, red dragon fruit has a longer shelf life than ordinary fruits. Even if he really can't finish it by then, he can store other red dragon fruits in his carry-on space bag. Space bags can also keep food fresh. His magic space bag was given by the Countess. Although the volume is not large, it is still no problem to hold one or two thousand kilograms of red dragon fruit. 
Immediately, a master and a servant entered the orchard. The red dragon fruit tree is not high, only a little over one meter. So picking is not troublesome. Just pick the fruits from the trees and stack them together. Lin Yi can use the space bag to load them away in waves, and temporarily store the fruits that cannot be loaded in the village hall. Busy from morning to noon. Lin Yi and Sally just finished picking all the red dragon fruit trees. It's about 6,000 kilograms. There are so many red dragon fruits, enough for the territory to last for a while. On the other side, the royal knights also completed the felling of poplar trees and placed piles of wood in the training square. There are more than 600 units in total, plus those gold coins Lin Yi had reserved. It directly meets the requirements for upgrading village hall. However, there is no reward for raising village hall to middle level. On the contrary, it will also consume a lot of resources, which will affect Lin Yi's construction of residential buildings and even the upgrade of Royal Knights training ground. Lin Yi has not recruited Royal Knights from today until now. He just wants to wait for the gold coin reserve to reach 1000 and then recruit more Royal Knights after upgrading. Build three residential buildings first. Let's get the mission reward before we talk. House and fence are the basic territorial buildings that come with the village hall. It only takes a certain amount of resources to build. Lin Yi found a relatively suitable blank area near the village hall. After a while, three residential buildings appeared out of thin air. Like the village hall, it is a wooden structure. It seems simple, but it can perfectly isolate the huge temperature difference in the desert environment. Residence. Level. Low level. Number of habitable citizens. 5 units. Next level. Middle level residential buildings. Upgrade requirements. 200 units of wood. Comma. With the construction of three residential buildings, the second side mission is also completed. Lin Yi also received his mission reward, 100 gold coins, and a bottle of rapid plant growth potion. Fast plant growth potion. Level. Low level. Effect. Depending on the level of the target plant, the growth time can be reduced by up to one third. Closing square bracket. Usable times. Five times. One use can water a small garden, 100 plants. Special reminder, the effects of rapid plant growth potions cannot be superimposed. Fast plant growth potions of the same level can only be used once in the same garden. Closing square bracket. Lin Yi immediately came to the red dragon fruit orchard and chose to use a fast plant growth potion. I saw a green light sweeping past. The red dragon fruit tree whose fruit had just been picked quickly sprouted new buds and then blossomed into small pale red flowers. A total of 100 fruit trees have undergone changes. Nice one. Seeing this scene, Lin Yi couldn't help but admire. The maid Sally also exclaimed, Master, is this the water of life of the natural elves? Lin Yi said with a smile, It's just a bottle of low-level plant growth potion. It can't be compared with the legendary water of life. The former can only act on plants. It can only speed up the growth of plants. As for the latter, it is said that even the dead can be revived by the water of life as long as their souls are not separated from the body or disintegrated. That's pretty awesome too, Maid Sally said. It blooms so quickly. I hope your orchard will be ready for picking soon. Lin Yi nodded. After using the plant growth potion, the ripening time of red dragon fruit trees has been directly reduced from half a month to 10 days. You can collect again after 10 days. On Earth, the worldview must be shattered. Comma. Returning from the orchard, Lin Yi took another look at his gold coin reserves. There are 893 in total. He expected a bumper harvest from today's hunt. It is best to collect a thousand gold coins before 12 o'clock in the evening. With old butler who owed Dean participating in the war, it shouldn't be a big problem. While muttering to himself, Lin Yi took the little maid Sally into the village hall and continued to teach her how to practice magic runes. This little maid with the potential of the holy realm is far more malleable than those of the royal knights. Comma. Class time always flies by. The afternoon came in a blink of an eye. The old butler who owed Dean returned to the golden oasis alone. After handing the dozens of gold coins harvested, as well as a large number of sandworm skins and teeth to Lin Yi, who Odin said, Master, I accidentally discovered a small salt lake a few kilometers away to the west. There are traces of human life and some tools for mining salt, but no humans were found. There is quite a bit of blood left. 
Lin Yi heard this and said, there must have been sand people drying salt there, but they were attacked by unknown creatures. The old butler who owed Dean nodded. The attackers are most likely to be gnolls, goblins and other creatures in the desert. There was only blood, no bodies. It shows that the body was taken away by the attackers. In the eyes of evil creatures including gnolls, goblins, etc., any life can be ridden with a recipe. Lin Yi said, it seems that we should also be more careful. Water is the source of life. Especially in the desert, it is even more precious. Whether they are attackers or nearby sand people, they may go to Golden Oasis to obtain water. Now, he occupies the Golden Oasis. It is natural to face these problems head on. There is one question that puzzles Lin Yi. That's why the Golden Oasis is not occupied by those intelligent creatures. It's like a delicious cake placed in front of a group of hungry people, but no one grabs it. This is a very puzzling thing. At this time, the old steward Hodern said, Master, are we going to occupy that small salt lake and mine salt? If a caravan comes to the Golden Oasis, we can also use the salt to exchange some supplies with them. Lin Yi said, Zan must be taken, but not now. After all, the population in our territory is too small. Grandpa Hodern, I need you to continue hunting and kill more sandworms. As long as I get a few dozen more gold coins, I can upgrade the Royal Knights training ground and summon more Royal Knights. Okay, Master, Hodern nodded. He immediately walked out of the village hall with his magic wand. Before leaving the oasis, he saw residential houses appearing out of thin air in the territory, as well as the red dragon fruit trees full of small red flowers, and he was immediately shocked. I didn't even have these when I went out in the morning. The young master is worthy of being the messenger of the gods. There are endless miraculous means. Thinking of this, the old butler was also very motivated. He has to work hard to improve his level and live longer. Only when he sees the Tulip family regaining its glory and the blood of the Tulip family passed down by the young master can he close his eyes. Comma, the night sky in the Karar Desert is cloudless and dotted with stars. There are also beautiful aurora covering the sky, which can be called one of the wonders of the sacred continent. Lin Yi and Maid Sally were lying on the soft lawn of the oasis. While enjoying the beautiful night view. While feeling the warmth radiating from the ground. Master, the Maid Sally blinked her big emerald eyes and asked. It is said that the stars in the sky are the kingdom of gods, and each star represents a great god. Is this true? It's possible. Lin Yi smiled and nodded. The holy continent is a world ruled by transcendent power. The immortal gods are not illusions, but real and powerful beings. It is really not impossible to say that the stars in the outer world are the kingdom of God opened by the gods. I believe that the young master will be able to become an eternal god in the void in the future, with endless followers. Ha ha, it's necessary. Late at night, the old butler Huodin, who was out hunting, and ten royal knights returned one after another. The hunt went very smoothly and there were no surprises. It is worth mentioning that. The old butler who owed Dean's level has been promoted. Now he is an 8th level high level magician. As ordinary monsters, sandworms generally have a very low level and do not provide much experience. The reason why Huodin was able to upgrade was because of his accumulated experience. Originally, his level had reached the critical point of breaking through, but due to his old age and severe decline in physical fitness, it was difficult to break through. With the help of experience, the class shackles he had held for many years were finally broken. Mr. Huo Dean, who had been promoted, looked more energetic, and his originally full head of silver hair was showing signs of turning black, as if he had regained his second youth. In addition, two of the ten royal knights have been promoted to level six. Achieve a sudden increase in combat effectiveness. The most gratifying thing is Lin Yi, who, shared, his experience throughout the day, and his level was also promoted from level 4 to level 5. It is not an exaggeration to describe it as an upgrade while lying down. All in all, everyone is happy. In terms of this upgrade model. As long as I continue to expand the size of the military armies. Not to mention being promoted to the Holy Realm, even being promoted to a demigod is easy. While talking, the old butler Huodin and the royal knights handed over the harvest of the hunt to Lin Yi. There are hundreds of complete sandworm skins, nearly a thousand teeth suitable for making dagger equipment, and more than a hundred golden gold coins. 
also found were the carcasses of two desert gray wolves. Lord Lord, a sixth level royal knight said respectfully to Lin Yi, we accidentally discovered these two gray wolves on the way back to the territory, and we also saw a large number of gray wolves in the distance. They are led by a wolf and are very cunning. Even if we killed their companions, they didn't act rashly. But I believe that these hunters hidden in the darkness and wind and sand are targeting us. There is a high chance of a wolf attack tonight. As soon as the royal knight finished speaking, a message appeared in Lin Yi's mind. Trigger special mission. Siege of wolves. Closing square bracket. Task information. The Golden Oasis is the territory of the Desert Grey Wolf Clan. Your occupation of the Golden Oasis has angered the leader of the wolf pack. In an hour, the wolves will attack your territory. Closing square bracket. Task content. Protect the territory and defeat the wolves. Closing square bracket. Task reward. 300 gold coins, a random territory building drawing. Comma. Your guess is quite correct. Lin Yi said to the 6th level royal knight, take your knights down and have a good rest. We will prepare for the territory's defense war in an hour. As you command, great lord. We will protect you and our territory to the death. All the royal knights saluted respectfully and then withdrew. The old butler who owed Dean asked, Master, will that wolf pack really come to attack our territory? Not bad, I can already smell the smell of war. Lin Yi said, you should go and recover your magic power. There may be a fierce battle later. Good, Huo Dean nodded solemnly. Lin Yi turned around and came to the Royal Knight's training ground. Including the more than 100 gold coins harvested this time, the number of gold coins he owns has exceeded 1,000, which can improve the level of this military building. Without hesitation, Lin Yi immediately opened the building upgrade panel. Do you want to spend 1,000 gold coins to upgrade the current unit building? Closing square bracket. Weather. Upgrade. With Lin Yi selecting, yes. A golden light emerged from the void and enveloped the entire Royal Knight's training ground. The ground began to shake. The training square begins to expand. It wasn't until the golden light dissipated that the abnormality disappeared. At the same time, the Royal Knight's hall has also become significantly more magnificent. Royal Knight Training Ground. Level. Level 2. Recruitable Troops. Royal Knights. Recruitment Quantity. 30 Royal Knights can be recruited every day. Closing Square Bracket. Upgrade Requirements. 3000 Gold Coins. Special Reminder 1. Upgrade the level of the military building to recruit more military units. Closing Square Bracket. Special Reminder 2. The Royal Knight is a cavalry unit. Equipping it with suitable riding pets can greatly improve the Royal Knight's combat effectiveness. Closing Square Bracket. Comma. The second level Royal Knights training ground can recruit 30 Royal Knights. It's worth waiting for me all day. Lin Yi's expression showed a hint of excitement. At his call, 30 fully armed Royal Knights appeared on the training square, exuding a strong fighting spirit and a chilling atmosphere. These newly recruited Royal Knights are also 5th level and mid-level professionals. As for combat experience, there is no need to worry at all. Just like the old butler who Odin said, all of them are veterans who have experienced many battles. Meet the great lord. The royal knights came in formation and knelt down in front of Lin Yi. As recruited soldiers, they are 100% loyal to Lin Yi. They will resolutely carry out any order from Lin Yi. Even let them die. Lin Yi raised his hand and said, Get up. Check your equipment and prepare for the coming war. Dozens of royal knights shouted in unison, Swear allegiance to the lord to the death. Very good. Lin Yi nodded with satisfaction. This momentum, this quality. Not even the regular legions of Stanlo Kingdom can compare. Only the ace master of Stanlo Kingdom can barely compete with the royal knights under his command, but there are still some gaps. It's about 10 o'clock at night now. In other words, it will be a new day in two hours. At that time, I can recruit 30 more royal knights. Upgrading level 3 royal knight training ground requires 3,000 gold coins. Tomorrow will definitely not be enough in one day. And he also plans to upgrade that village hall and expand the area of his territory. This will also consume some gold coins. Therefore, Lin Yi planned to recruit the 30 royal knights directly after 12 o'clock, so that he could hunt more monsters at night. Comma. Time passes quickly. At some point, a shrill howl of a wolf suddenly echoed through the night sky. 
the sounds come from all directions, from far to near, and becoming more and more dense. As the first desert gray wolf appeared on the sand dunes outside the oasis, soon, more and more gray wolves appeared. Under the moonlight, the gray wolves lined up in a row, like an undulating black wall, surrounding the entire golden oasis. On the opposite side of Sapphire Lake, gray wolves have entered the oasis. They gathered in groups and surrounded Lin Yi's village hall along the lake shore. There are at least hundreds of desert gray wolves. The old butler Hodern took a deep breath. This is really a disaster. Old man, are you sure? Lin Yi came over with a smile. The pretty little maid Sally followed closely beside him, and there was not much fear of the wolf disaster on her delicate face. She has great confidence in the young master who is the messenger of the gods. Huo Dean said with a solemn expression. Master, although the size of the wolf pack is not small, it is still a bit difficult to eat us. Lin Yi nodded. Then he turned his attention to the approaching wolves in the distance. The levels of these gray wolves are generally not high, mostly at level 2 or 3. Only a few have reached level 3 or above and are intermediate level monsters. As long as the array of the royal knights is not scattered, these guys will basically die as many as they come. It's a pity that the royal knights don't have riding pets, otherwise, we wouldn't even have to defend passively, but could take the initiative. Only a knight with a riding pet can exert the most powerful combat effectiveness. Just at this time, a deafening wolf howl suddenly sounded. In an instant, all the desert gray wolves closed their mouths. Lin Yi and others looked in the direction of the sound, and immediately saw a huge gray wolf appearing on a sand dune in the distance. The average gray wolf is nearly 2 meters in size. The size of the elite gray wolf is about 2 and a half meters. This giant gray wolf was at least 3 meters long and looked like a monster standing in the moonlight. It jumped down from the dune and headed straight for the village hall. Wherever they passed, the gray wolves all gave way urgently. There was a gray wolf that couldn't avoid it and was knocked away on the spot. 7th level high level monster. Leader of the gray wolf. The old butler Huoden held the magic wand in his hand tightly. I don't know if he can beat this leader level gray wolf with his old bones. One on one combat is definitely not possible. He is a magician after all. Even if it's one level higher, it's a dead end if you get close. His magic shield can't withstand it for long. Someone had to help him contain the gray wolf leader before he could possibly kill him. After thinking about it, Huo Dean also told Lin Yi this idea. Lin Yi nodded and said, I will send ten royal knights to besiege the gray wolf leader. The old man must kill him as quickly as possible to prevent changes. As he spoke, he took out a magic wand from the space bag he carried. It is fire attribute, can increase the power of fire magic. It also comes with two magic skills, fireball and sea of fire. This magic wand can also be regarded as a small supreme grade among high-end magic equipment. He got it when he was in the Tulip family. It was originally intended as a collection, and I never thought it would be used. After all, he was a knight before. Now that you have become a lord, you can unleash magic skills. This magic wand may also come in handy. The old butler who owed Dean said quickly, Don't worry, young master, I will kill this gray wolf leader even if I risk my life. Lin Yi said with a smile, That doesn't require the old man to work hard, just delay the time until after 12 o'clock, then our winning rate will be even greater. Okay, master. Although he was confused, the old housekeeper who owed Dean nodded. Lin Yi said to Sally on the side, You go to the village hall to hide for a while, and then come out after the battle is over. Master, please be safe. Sally immediately retreated into the village hall at the back. She also wants to fight with the young master, but now she can't even use the lowest level fireball technique. She is a pure ordinary person, and staying will only become a drag. A moment, hundreds of desert gray wolves have already surrounded Lin Yi and others. The hungry wolves eyes turned green and they roared constantly. That fierce look seemed to tear Lin Yi and others into pieces. In the eyes of these gray wolves, Lin Yi and others are not only intruders but also delicious food. Perhaps it is precisely because of the existence of these gray wolves that no other intelligent creatures occupy the golden oasis as their territory. Lin Yi's actions can be regarded as touching the taboo of the gray wolves. Of course, it doesn't matter. Forty well-armed royal knights protected Lin Yi and the old butler Huo Dean behind them. 
They formed a circle. Each of them holds a sharp knight's sword and a small round shield with a diameter of more than half a meter. Even if they faced several times more enemies, the knights were not afraid at all. Just at this time, a huge fireball flew over the heads of the royal knights. The fireball exploded among the wolves, and there was an explosion and roar. Several gray wolves were burned to charcoal on the spot, and a larger number of gray wolves were ignited by scattered sparks, causing a series of wailing sounds. This fireball was like the fuse that lit the war. Amidst the roar of the gray wolf leader, hundreds of gray wolves rushed towards Lin Yi and others from all directions. Loyalty is faith. The royal knights raised their swords one after another. Cut out bright sword lights one after another. Puff puff puff. The dozen or so gray wolves rushing in front were instantly cut in half by the light of the sword, with blood and internal organs pouring all over the floor. At the same time, countless wind blades came towards the royal knights. This is the magical attack of the gray wolves. It is so powerful that it can easily cut down a tree with a diameter of half a meter. Seeing this, the royal knights all raised their small bucklers to resist. There was a dull thud. A royal knight flew backwards. He was attacked by the wind blade of the gray wolf, and he and his shield were knocked away. After being hit hard on the ground, he couldn't get up for a long time, and he didn't know whether he was dead or alive. As for the other royal knights, they successfully withstood the countless wind blades coming their way. The equipment of the royal knights is all magic equipment. As long as the level gap is not too big, it is still very difficult to break through their defenses. Great Fireball Technique Fire Sea Technique Fire Wall Technique Starfire Falling Behind them, Lin Yi and the old butler Huo Dean kept waving their magic wands, launching powerful magic skills one after another into the gray wolves. Suddenly, the aroma and burnt smell of barbecue filled the entire battlefield. Two magicians serve as attack turrets, one of whom is an 8th level high level magician. The lethality is simply terrifying. A large number of gray wolves were killed on the spot. The huge gray wolf leader kept roaring with anger. It was seen that it nimbly dodged the magic attack of the old butler Huodin and roared directly into the defensive formation of the royal knights. Behind it, there were dozens of gray wolves charging together. A terrifying force struck, and several royal knights were forcibly knocked away. The leader of the Grey Wolf has already rushed into the formation. Just in time, the old butler was well prepared and waved his magic wand again. In an instant, a wave of heat emerged. It turned into dozens of thick fire snakes and surrounded the Grey Wolf leader. Every impact and bite of the fire snake can leave a large scorch mark on the body of the Grey Wolf leader. High Level Fire Magic, Dance of the Fire Snake Seeing that something was wrong, the Grey Wolf leader roared and tried to rush out, but at this moment, a group of figures suddenly arrived and forced it back into the circle of fire snakes. These figures are the royal knights under Lin Yi. As for the dozens of gray wolves following the gray wolf leader, they were now enveloped in a sea of fire. As the battle continues, more and more gray wolves are being killed on the battlefield. There were also royal knights who were attacked wildly by the gray wolves and were left wondering whether they were alive or dead. Although the casualties of the royal knights were nothing compared to the death rate of the gray wolves, it still made Lin Yi feel a little distressed. After all, there are only 40 royal knights under his command. One or two deaths are a huge loss. But in this case, Lin Yi had no other choice. They can only keep waving the magic wand to kill as many gray wolves as possible to relieve the pressure on the royal knights who are caught in the fierce battle. On the battlefield, golden lights appeared one after another. That's the vision when upgrading. Almost all royal knights have received level improvements. All of them have broken through to level 6. As a result, their combat effectiveness becomes more powerful. Even negative situations such as decreased physical strength and plummeting magic power caused by fierce battles disappear during level promotion. They are braver. Comma. The battlefield was covered with the corpses of gray wolves. The silver-white armors worn by the royal knights were all stained red with blood. But neither the Grey Wolves nor the Royal Knights took a step back. Roar. In the Fire Snake formation, the Grey Wolf leader roared repeatedly. You can see that there is no good fur left on it. His whole body was scorched black. The lethality of the high level magic, Dance of the Fire Snake, is still very astonishing. If it were the weaker elite level Grey Wolf, it would have been burned to ashes long ago. Only the leader of the Grey Wolf, who is a high level monster, can persist until now. 
Around the fire snake formation lay the corpses of three royal knights. All were sacrificed to prevent the Grey Wolf leader from escaping from the fire snake formation. The sacrifice of their companions did not scare away the other royal knights. They bravely faced the berserk Grey Wolf leader and pounced one after another. This is an extremely heroic and tragic picture. Comma. I do not know how long it has been. Another giant fireball flew into the fire snake formation. The Grey Wolf leader who tried to escape from the encirclement was hit hard. At the same time, the terrifying magic power carried in the giant fireball once again dealt a heavy blow to the leader of the Grey Wolf. The wolf's body, which was more than three meters long, hit the ground heavily. Blazing flames enveloped it. The Grey Wolf leader roared angrily and struggled to get up, but was knocked to the ground by silvery white figures falling from the sky. The royal knights ignored the flames that would engulf them at the same time, and thrust their night swords into the body of the Grey Wolf leader one by one. This fearless spirit of sacrifice moved the old butler Hodern, who had served the Tulip family for three generations. He has seen the world. But this was the first time he saw such a heroic knight. Finally, the Grey Wolf leader was forcibly killed with the almost perfect cooperation of the royal knights and the old butler Huoden. The moment the Grey Wolf leader fell, there were wailing sounds on the battlefield. It was a pack of wolves howling. But not a single Grey Wolf escaped. On the contrary, the Grey Wolves on the battlefield became even crazier. It seems that he wants to avenge the death of the Grey Wolf leader. On the other side, Lin Yi fought and retreated under the protection of several royal knights, and evacuated to the vicinity of the royal knights' training ground. He glanced at the time. It's past 12 o'clock and a new day has arrived. He started a new day of military recruitment without hesitation. Soon, along with a dazzling golden light, another 30 fully armed royal knights were summoned. They joined the battlefield immediately. These royal knights in their heyday harvested the lives of the Grey Wolves on the battlefield in a nearly massacre manner. The size of the Grey Wolf pack is shrinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. It didn't take long for the royal knights to counter and circle the Grey Wolf on the battlefield. Comma. When the last Grey Wolf was stabbed through the body by a knight's sword, the territorial defense battle that lasted for more than two hours also officially came to an end. Lin Yi ignored the mission reward information that appeared in his mind and immediately went to count the casualties of the Royal Knights. Final Statistics The total number of Royal Knights participating in the battle was 70. The total number of casualties was 28. Among them, 13 Royal Knights were slightly injured and 9 Royal Knights were seriously injured. Six more Royal Knights were killed. Although it was a brilliant victory, the loss still hurts. Lin Yi took a deep breath. He was in the early stages of starting a business, but nine royal knights were seriously injured and six were killed directly. This loss is not small. Just when Lin Yi was preparing to bury the six royal knights who died in battle, a large number of golden light spots suddenly appeared in their corpses. With the appearance of golden light spots, the corpses of the six royal knights also gradually disappeared. Until finally it disappeared. What's happening here? As a lord, Lin Yi was also puzzled when he saw this scene. The troops he recruited were all real-life forms with flesh and blood and souls. Now they are dead and disappear like data. Lin Yi is preparing to ask about Lord System. A reminder message appeared in his mind. If the soldiers under the Lord are killed in battle, their souls and bodies will be temporarily stored in a void space unless there are special circumstances. In the future, the Lord will become a god and open up the kingdom of God. They will be resurrected in the Lord's kingdom of God and become the people of the kingdom of God. Closing square bracket. So that's it. This is good news. Lin Yi immediately summoned other royal knights and said in a magic stick-like tone, the fallen heroes have gained eternal life. This is their glory. Praise the great Lord. The royal knights suddenly raised their swords with great excitement. Every pair of eyes reveals infinite enthusiasm for Lin Yi. Loyalty is faith. In the eyes of the knights, Lin Yi is their god of faith. Comma. The slightly injured royal knight went down to rest. Serious damage is arranged for good students to cultivate themselves. Other royal knights were cleaning the battlefield under the leadership of Lin Yi. In addition to battlefield gains, Lin Yi's level was also improved again because of this war. It is currently level 6. With just one step further, he can reach the level of a high-level professional. In addition, 
he also extracted the rewards for completing the mission, which were 300 gold coins and a random architectural drawing of the territory. You used a random territory building blueprint. Closing square bracket. Congratulations, you have obtained a special territory architectural drawing, the altar of luck. Closing square bracket. Comma. Special building. Lucky altar. Building information. Randomly obtain a territory lucky halo every week. Closing square bracket. Construction requirements. 1,000 gold coins and 500 units of stone. Closing square bracket. A lucky halo a week. It's similar to my lord talent. The difference is, my lord's talent is to add a unit building every week, while the altar of luck randomly changes a lucky halo every week. There is still a big difference. But overall, such a building that can provide buff increase for the territory is still very good. Lin Yi plans to build the lucky altar when resources become available. 500 units of stone is a bit troublesome. There is a lot of yellow sand in the desert, but there are things like stones. Lin Yi asked the old housekeeper Huo Dean to ask if there was a stone mountain nearby. Huo Dean thought for a while and said, Master, there is a continuous stone mountain in the direction of the salt lake. Although the height is not high, the vertical and horizontal area is not small. This is a good news. Lin Yi plans to let the dozen or so slightly injured royal knights cut down the popular forest, tomorrow, collect the wood needed to upgrade the village hall and then go quarry for stone. The other royal knights continued their hunting missions. In fact, it is a bit overkill for the royal knights to do the task of collecting resources. But Lin Yi has no choice now. There are not many soldiers under his command. There are no weaker low-level units. Therefore, we can only leave the task to the royal knights. Comma. The night passed quickly. After the royal knights worked hard all night, the follow-up matters of the war were finally handled. A total of more than 7,300 units of wolf meat were harvested, as well as several wolf skins and wolf teeth of various levels. There are also more than 490 gold coins. 32 low-level, mid-level, and high-level magic crystals. Magic crystal is a good thing. It can be embedded on equipment to create more powerful magic equipment. For example, the small supreme grade high-end magic wand in Lin Yi's hand is inlaid with a high-end magic crystal. It sells for at least 10,000 gold coins in the Stanlo Kingdom. Ordinary equipment of the same level is more than 10 times cheaper. In addition to these gains, Lin Yi also received a blueprint and two gold coin bags. Drawings on the number of units. Level. Low level. After use, you will obtain a certain number of territorial troops. Closing square bracket. Special tip. The type of arms obtained matches the arms building in your territory. Closing square bracket. Comma. A small gold coin bag. Item information. After use, you will gain a small pile of gold coins. Comma. Looking at the drawings and gold coin bag in his hand, Lin Yi did not hesitate and used them all immediately. You used a drawing with the number of troops. Congratulations, you have obtained 30 middle level units, Royal Knights. Closing square bracket. You used. Congratulations, you got 170 gold coins. Closing square bracket. Opening square bracket dot dot dot. You get 200 gold coins. Closing square bracket. It feels so good to have it for free. Lin Yi grinned, adding these 30 royal knights, the total number of royal knights under his command reached 94. If it weren't for the death of six royal knights in last night's battle, he now has exactly 100 royal knights, and he can directly complete side mission 1. As for his total gold coin reserves, it has once again exceeded 1000. There are 1008 gold coins in total. There is a problem. I killed so many gray wolves, but not even a piece of equipment exploded. Is the explosion rate too low, or does the equipment not explode at all? Lin Yi then asked about Lord System. Soon, he got a response Lords can directly obtain equipment by killing humanoid monsters. In addition to gaining experience by killing Warcraft, they can only reveal blueprints, Lord Gold Coins, and some special items. Closing Square Bracket in addition, the Lord Builds Blacksmith Shop can also build your own equipment. Closing square bracket. I see. The doubts in Lin Yi's heart were cleared. But looking at the mountains of gray wolf meat in front of him, he was troubled again. How long will it take to eat more than 7,000 units of gray wolf meat? 
Even if he now has nearly a hundred royal knights, it is impossible to eat them all in a short time, let alone he has thousands of kilograms of red dragon fruit stored there. If these things are not handled properly, they will deteriorate sooner or later. I don't have a warehouse yet. For the time being, we can only make these gray wolf meat into jerky. The extremely high temperatures in the desert during the day can quickly dry out the moisture in the gray wolf meat. But in this process, gray wolf meat will also accelerate spoilage. In this case, Lin Yi needs to use a divine weapon, which is salt. Salt can kill bacteria. Marinating it with salt can preserve gray wolf meat for a longer period of time. Just as he thought, Lin Yi summoned the 30 royal knights he had just summoned and asked them to go to the salt lake a few kilometers away. However, the salt crystals produced in the salt lake cannot be eaten directly. Needs to be purified, Lin Yi said to a group of royal knights, there are some tools left there that can purify salt crystals. You can just bring back the purified coarse salt. Coarse salt barely meets edible standards. Due to productivity, humans in this world basically eat coarse salt that has been purified only once. Anyway, the creatures in the transcendent world are very resistant. Don't worry about this little problem at all. As you command, Lord Lord. All the royal knights respectfully obeyed the order and then retreated. The other royal knights also had their own missions and left the golden oasis one after another. In the blink of an eye, only Lin Yi and the maid Sally were left in the territory. Even the old butler Hodern went out hunting. Let's go, let's continue yesterday's lesson. Lin Yi took the maid Sally into the village hall. Comma, noon. The royal knights who were out cutting wood have returned. A total of more than 300 units of wood were collected. The size of the popular Euphratica forest was not large to begin with. After a day or two of felling, only small palm thick trees were left, which were not viable as timber. Lin Yi also felt a little regretful after receiving the news. Next, if you want to get wood, you will have to go further. This is the desert. In the forest of life basic resources such as wood and stone can be said to be scattered all over the mountains and plains, and it takes a lot of manpower to find them. The royal knights who returned to the territory were dispatched by Lin Yi. Their mission is to quarry stone in preparation for building the lucky altar. Now, Lin Yi has three teams of knights outside. A team quarries for stone. A team collects salt. A team hunts monsters in the desert. Except for a few seriously injured royal knights, no one was idle. Upgrading the village hall requires 500 units of wood and 500 gold coins. Now we have them all. Lin Yi came outside and clicked on the upgrade option of village hall. After some operations, a bright golden light fell from the void and enveloped the village hall. Visible to the naked eye, the wooden village hall is rapidly growing in size. The architectural shapes also began to become more refined. The most important is, the area of the golden oasis is also expanding. Green vegetation extends outward like a carpet, covering sand dunes one after another, and a large number of trees spring up from the ground like bamboo shoots after a rain. Every tree is very strong and prosperous, and there are a lot of them. A ring of woods soon forms surrounding Sapphire Lake. Seeing this scene, Lin Yi burst into laughter. Timber, isn't it coming? Chapter 11. Village Hall. Level. Middle Level. Unlock Buildings. Fences, Houses, Arrow Towers. Next Level. High Level Village. Upgrade Requirements. 1000 Units of Wood, 1000 Gold Coins. Comma. It's not very demanding. Lin Yi plans to continue to upgrade the level of Village Hall. The main task is to upgrade Village Hall to Town Hall. The reward is no longer ordinary materials such as gold coins, but a random lord talent. For Lin Yi, who is a lord, the importance of lord talent is self-evident. Not to mention another super divine level lord talent, even an ordinary lord talent can improve the overall strength of his territory to a certain extent. Lin Yi has learned from Lord System that lord talents are divided into six levels. Common, high level, rare, epic, divine level and the most awesome super divine level. Lord Talent is an enhanced version of buff, and it is permanent. No matter how much, Lin Yi would never dislike it. At this time, Lin Yi discovered that the Lord System had refreshed two more side missions, namely Side Mission 2 and Limited Time Hunting Mission. Side Mission 2. Task Information Retrieval. 
Arrow Towers are a must-have defensive building for the territory. A weak territory that is not protected by Arrow Towers is easily captured by the enemy. Closing Square Bracket Task Content Build at least 5 Arrow Towers Task Reward 250 Gold Coins 3000 Silver Tailed Fish Fry Comma Limited Time Hunting Mission Task Information Retrieval as a lord, you have the obligation to clean up the crises near your territory and provide a guarantee of safe access for your subjects. Closing square bracket. Task content. Hunting wild monsters. Task time. Starts at 12 o'clock tonight. Time limit is 2 days. Task reward. One gold coin will be awarded for each monster killed, and the gold coin reward for killing humanoid monsters will be doubled. There is no limit on the quantity. Closing square bracket. Comma. Look at the limited time hunting mission information. Lin Yi knew that he would have to suffer from the old housekeeper and the royal knights these two days. After all, hard work pays off. Then he checked the construction requirements of Arrow Tower. Arrow Tower. Type. Territory Basic Defense Building. Construction Requirements. 50 units of wood, 20 units of stone. Comma. Stone again. Although Lin Yi has a team of royal knights quarrying stones under his command, they are prepared for the construction of the special building Lucky Altar. He didn't want to spend money on the Arrow Tower if it wasn't necessary. Lin Yi rubbed his head. After all, there are still too few resources in the desert. Otherwise, how could he be in such a difficult situation? Let's wait until the Royal Knights return to the Oasis. If the mining volume is okay, then build the Altar and the Arrow Tower together. On the contrary, build the Lucky Altar first. Comma. The time comes in the afternoon. Location. Salt Lake. With the division of labor and cooperation of dozens of royal knights, about 600 kilograms of coarse salt were purified and dried. Just as they were preparing to transport the coarse salt back to the Golden Oasis, a large group of figures suddenly appeared and headed toward the Salt Lake with lightning speed. The attacker was extremely fast. In a short period of time, they crossed several miles and entered the Salt Lake area. Finally, it was clear that each of these figures was riding a desert coyote. The desert coyotes are different from the gray wolves that were killed last night. The main body of the hair is light yellow, and the body is covered with large and small black spots. Looks like a hyena. In terms of body size, they are also smaller than gray wolves. At this moment, riding on the back of the desert coyote was a humanoid creature that looked like a kobold. They brandished a variety of weapons and screamed. It's the evil jackal. Form up defense. The royal knights quickly formed a formation. Almost at the same time, a large number of arrows were shot at the royal knights, but they were all blocked by the small bucklers in the hands of the knights. Greedy humans. This salt lake is the territory of our black wind tribe. Death to the intruder. Kill. There are nearly a hundred jackal cavalry. Among them, many are mounted archers. They quickly formed a large circle surrounding dozens of royal knights in the center, and shot a few arrows at the royal knights from time to time. However, such attacks failed to work. Facing the sand people, they had an absolute advantage. But now they were facing the heavily armed royal knights. Even if the arrows shot straight through the shield intercepted by luck and hit the royal knight, they would still be unable to penetrate the magic armor of the royal knight. On the contrary, a charged charge by the royal knights can easily kill the heads of a group of jackals. As many as a dozen. There are as few as five or six. After several rounds of fighting, none of the royal knights were lost, but a third of the jackals were lost. Hateful. This must be the legion knight of the kingdom of Stanlow. Let's retreat. Go back and shake people. A slightly stronger jackal roared and gave orders. When the other jackals heard this, they immediately dispersed. As quickly as it comes, it goes as quickly as it comes. In the blink of an eye they disappeared behind the distant sand dunes. The royal knights quickly cleaned the battlefield and took away everything they could, including a few jackals who were not dead yet, and took them back to the golden oasis. Comma, is this the Nall? At the door of the village hall, Lin Yi looked at several tightly tied half-humanoid monsters that looked more like dogs than dogs, and more like humans than humans. It has been some time since he came to this world. But this is the first time I have seen a similar strange creature. When he was in the Tulip family, he had heard rumors about orcs, nature elves, and even giant dragons, but he had never seen them with his own eyes. Have to say, 
The appearance of the jackal in front of him was very consistent with his imagination of fantasy creatures. Human, you are dead. One of the jackals roared at Lin Yi. You not only invaded the salt lake of my Black Wind tribe, but you also occupied the golden oasis in the peace contract. When my Black Wind tribe's army arrives, I will tear you into pieces. A peace contract. Lin Yi speculates that this may be one of the reasons why no intelligent race occupies the golden oasis. Tell me where the specific location of your tribe is and how many jackals there are in the tribe who are capable of fighting. Don't even think about it. I won't betray the tribe even if I die. This jackal behaved quite toughly. His fierce eyes were always staring at Lin Yi, as if he wanted to stare him to death. Lin Yi didn't ask any more questions and nodded slightly to a royal knight beside him. The royal knight then pulled out the knight's sword from his waist and chopped off the jackal's head with one strike. There were still three jackals left, and they all trembled with fear when they saw this scene. Tell me, Lin Yi looked at one of them. After three seconds of silence, another head was severed. Then comes the third one. You're the only one left, do you want to think about it? I said, I said, don't kill me. The last jackal was frightened to death. He quickly told Lin Yi all the information he wanted to know. More than 800 nulls. Nearly 3,000 desert coyotes. Lin Yi looked surprised and asked, can your tribe afford to raise them? The jackal man kneeling on the ground explained, some of the coyotes we raise are exclusively for meat. There are also three sand people strongholds below our tribe. Those sand people will regularly hand over various livestock to us. In addition, our tribe will also hunt for monsters and plunder human caravans passing through nearby areas. The human caravan is wealthy. The wealth can be taken to the ancestral land of our jackals to exchange for various needed supplies. So that's it. Lin Yi suddenly understood. Although the Carol Desert is poor in resources, but the intelligent races that can thrive here naturally have their own way of survival. Lin Yi asked, where is your ancestral land and how many jackals are there? The jackal replied, I only know that the Dao ancestor land is in the north, but the specific location is unclear. I have never been to the ancestral land, and I only heard that there are hundreds of thousands of jackals there. Quote dot 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 quote. Lin Yi was silent for a long time. This jackal was either fooling him, or the news you heard was someone else's boast. Hundreds of thousands of jackals are simply unimaginable. Take it down, Lin Yi said to the royal knight on the side, Hao Sheng, keep an eye on him, don't let him die. When we attack the Black Wind tribe, we need to let him lead the way. As you command, Lord Lord. The royal knight immediately dragged the jackal down. The corpses of several jackals were also cleaned up immediately. Lin Yi said to the other royal knights, don't go to the Salt Lake for the time being to prevent retaliation from the Black Wind tribe. You go to Shishan to join the second team and mine stones together. Follow your orders. All the royal knights respectfully retired. While Lin Yi was counting the trophies brought back by the royal knights, he called the maid Sally to marinate and dry the dried meat. In this Salt Lake encounter, although only 30 jackal cavalry were killed, hundreds of gold coins exploded, which can be called a bumper harvest. Maybe one plus one, or maybe it's because Nalls are humanoid monsters. So the explosion rate is higher. In addition to gold coins, the Royal Knights also brought back dozens of pieces of equipment. Maces, wooden bows, swords, lances, and more. It can be said to be diverse. It's a pity that these equipments are just ordinary goods, not even comparable to the lowest level magic equipment. Naturally, the value cannot be higher. Lin Yi threw these equipment aside casually. When you meet a human caravan or come into contact with sand people in the future, you can find opportunities to package these equipment and sell them cheaply. After all, you can still get something in exchange. Comma, I was busy until evening. Lin Yi and the maid Sally just used up more than 600 kilograms of coarse salt. But only about two-thirds of the gray wolf meat was marinated. The remaining gray wolf meat could only be forcibly dried using fire magic and stored for as long as possible. It's another starry night. The old butler Huodin and the outgoing royal knights returned to the golden oasis one after another. Master, the old butler asked with a surprised look on his face, has the area of the oasis expanded? If he hadn't clearly known that his mental state was normal, he would have suspected that he was hallucinating. Lin Yi said with a smile. It has indeed expanded a bit, and our territory has been upgraded. 
Praise be to the great gods. Holden prayed with a pious expression. Lin Yi counted the harvests brought back by the old butler and the royal knights. A total of nearly a thousand gold coins were accounted for. Then there are a lot of sandworm skins, teeth, and various warcraft materials. The harvest was great, far better than yesterday. Until now, I currently have 2,135 gold coins. Upgrading the high-level village hall and building the lucky altar each require a thousand gold coins, which add up to just enough. In addition, 500 units of stone for the construction of the lucky altar have also been mined, and there are still some left. Now only the wood is left. Lin Yi immediately recruited all the royal knights. Let them cut down the trees in the oasis. He only needs to gather a thousand units of wood to raise the level of village hall again. After the royal knights were ordered to retreat, Lin Yi came to an open space near the royal knights training ground and took out the drawings for building the altar of luck. As a thousand lord gold coins and a large amount of stone disappeared. An altar exuding pale golden light appeared in the sight of Lin Yi and others. The entire altar is made of stones. There are countless mysterious runes attached to the surface. Each rune exudes a faint golden light, giving people an extremely mysterious feeling. The jackal who was tied tightly to the trunk of a big tree in the distance almost had his eyes flying out when he saw this scene. His body was trembling and he kept muttering, Miracle, this is a miracle, and the like. Discourse. And when he looked at Lin Yi again, not only was there no hatred in his eyes, but there was also admiration and awe. It's hard to imagine what kind of big shots they provoked. Can actually trigger miracles at will. Even the old patriarch of their ancestral land couldn't do this kind of ability. Comma. Master, what is the purpose of this altar? The maid Sally asked curiously. The old butler who owed Dean also set his sights on Lin Yi. Lin Yi explained. This is the altar of luck, which can add various buff halos to our territory. Buff Aura, Huo Dean said, that is similar to the totem pillar of the beast tribe. Hearing this, Lin Yi said nothing. He has never seen the totem pillar of the orcs. It is impossible to compare which one has stronger ability, totem pillar or altar of luck. However, he firmly believes that his own stuff must be even better. Comma, lucky altar, level, low level. Current Halo Attribute. The combat effectiveness of the territorial units under your command increases by 50%. Closing Square Bracket. The remaining time of the Halo. 6 days, 23 hours and 59 minutes. Next Level. Middle Level Altar. Upgrade Requirements. 10,000 Gold Coins, 5,000 Units of Stone. Special Reminder. When the level of the Lucky Altar reaches full level, you can make sacrifices. You can obtain a halo with higher gain attributes by paying tribute to resources or treasures. You also have a chance to obtain special items. Closing square bracket. Lin Yi took a deep breath of air. This is low level. It can actually increase combat effectiveness by 50%. What totem pole can match this terrifying attribute increase? The key is that the aura of the lucky altar does not limit the distance, even in places very far away from the territory, you can still get the blessing of the aura and it lasted for a week, and there were no side effects afterwards. This thing is simply divine weapon. It is hard for Lin Yi to imagine how powerful the aura attribute of Lucky Altar will be when he raises the level of Altar of Luck to the full level and unlocks the sacrificial function. It's just that the upgrade is a bit expensive. Master, I feel like my strength has suddenly increased. The old butler who owed Dean said with a shocked expression. Lin Yi said with a smile. This week's buff halo is to increase the overall strength of everyone in the territory by 50%. You can always enjoy it in the next seven days. The old housekeeper was greatly shocked. Great power given by God. A golden oasis shrouded in darkness. Thick trees collapsed amidst the shouts. Nearly a hundred royal knights cut wood together, and the efficiency is still very high. In less than an hour, the amount of wood piled in the royal knights training square exceeded 1,000 units. Lin Yi also immediately upgraded the village hall. With the bright golden light falling from the void, the wooden village hall became taller, more exquisite, and even gradually gained a sense of grandeur. The area of the golden oasis has also expanded again. Green vegetation quickly extended outwards, covering large areas of yellow sand and dunes one after another. More thick trees appeared in the territory. All kinds of flowers are blooming everywhere. 
The scenery is extremely beautiful. To the south of the Golden Oasis, a land that was originally a sand dune is now not only covered with lush green lawns, but also has shiny black metal standing out on the top. Lin Yi came over to check it out immediately. I was surprised to find that this was iron ore. Iron ore appears out of thin air. For Lin Yi, this was a sudden surprise. Refined iron condensed from iron ore can not only be used to build equipment, but is also a high-level resource necessary for upgrading certain territorial buildings, and its value is far greater than that of wood and stone. Unfortunately, in Lin Yi's vision of the Lord, this iron mine has not yet taken shape. Mining is temporarily unavailable. Obviously, upgrading the core building and raising the level of the territory can quickly take shape of the iron mine until it reaches a level that can be mined. And it's not just iron ore. As the territory level increases and the area expands, more mineral resources will appear in my territory. Timber, iron ore, these all appeared. In the future, there may even be gold mines and gem mines. Thinking of this, Lin Yi was immediately overjoyed. Immediately, he checked the upgraded village hall information. Village hall, level, high level, unlock buildings, fences, houses, arrow towers. Next level, town hall. Upgrade requirements, 3,000 units of wood, 3,000 gold coins. Comma, there are no newly unlocked territory buildings. But that's not important. The important thing is to upgrade it to another level, and my territory can be promoted to a small town. Then complete the main mission. 3,000 units of wood are not difficult to obtain. There are big trees everywhere in my territory now. Just those 3,000 gold coins. These many gold coins are enough to upgrade the Royal Knight's training ground to level 3. There's nothing we can do about it, we should be promoted. Lin Yi took another look at his gold coin reserves. After upgrading the village hall and building the altar of luck, he only had more than a hundred gold coins left in his hand. It was not an exaggeration to say that he returned to the pre-liberation period overnight. It seems that we can only place our hopes on the limited time hunting mission. I hope to get rich instantly. Comma. On the other side, under a certain big tree. The bound jackal looked at Lin Yi standing high up, his eyes showing even more ardent admiration, almost to the point of fanaticism. Now even if no one tells him, he regards Lin Yi as the messenger of God. Master the power of the gods. Otherwise, how can we explain the miracle in front of us? Comma. After the level of the territory was improved, the Royal Knights once again collected hundreds of units of wood. Lin Yi just recruited them back and arranged for them to take turns to rest and patrol. He himself came not far from the village hall, found an open space and built five arrow towers. Total resources consumed, 250 units of wood and 100 units of stone. Obtained the mission reward, 250 gold coins, and 3,000 silver-tailed fish fry. Silver-tailed fish belongs to spirit fish. The nutritional value far exceeds that of ordinary fish. In the kingdom of Stanlo, spirit fish is even more popular than fish that have evolved into Warcraft, because spirit fish tastes better and is more effective in eating. Lin Yi released these 3,000 silvertail fry into Sapphire Lake. I checked the growth cycle of the fry again and found it was one month. A month is not a short period of time either. At least that's the case for Lin Yi. However, this is not without a solution. If you can get something similar to Fast Plant Growth Potion from Quest Rewards, you can shorten the growth cycle of the fry to a great extent. When fishing in the future, we should also pay attention to leaving part of the female and male fish to allow them to produce seeds. In this way, my territory will be able to have a steady stream of fish. Comma, Lin Yi returns to Village Hall and opens the mission menu. New tasks are not refreshed. He now has three more missions. A main quest, upgrade, town hall. A side mission, with a territorial regiment of 100 people. A special mission, a limited time hunt. When the time passed 12 o'clock at night, a new day arrived. After Lin Yi recruited 30 royal knights from the royal knights training ground, his side mission was also completed. Currently, there are a total of 124 royal knights under his command. Among them, nine were seriously injured and recuperating. The dozen royal knights who were slightly injured before have basically recovered. The recovery speed is incredible. The remaining nine who were seriously injured and recuperating will be able to recover as before in a few days and continue to serve Lin Yi. 
Congratulations, you successfully completed side mission 1. You receive the mission reward, 200 gold coins, and your career level is improved by one level. Closing square bracket. At the same time, a powerful strange energy appeared in Lin Yi's body. His magic power suddenly began to increase wildly. In just the blink of an eye, he had broken through level 6 and reached level 7. Once you reach level 7, you are considered a high-level professional. Able to use more powerful high-level magic like the old butler Hodern. However, Lin Yi has no intention of learning advanced magic from the old butler, as it would be too time-consuming. He is waiting for the professional skill book to be released in the future, and masters the skills of various transcendent professions through the skill book. Lin Yi asked about Lord System. Professional skill books are special items that have a chance to explode when killing humanoid monsters. And the higher the level of humanoid monsters, the higher the explosion rate. Once the two tasks are completed, the gold coins will also increase to 600. Really not bad. The new side quests are still not refreshed. But the special mission, Limited Time Hunting, has already begun. In the next 48 hours, every time his troops kill a monster, he will receive an additional gold coin income. Whether you can become rich all at once depends on this wave. The next morning, Lin Yi woke up early, sleeping in the village hall as usual. After reaching high level in village hall, he no longer needs to lay floors. There is a bedroom in the backyard of village hall, fully furnished. It would be so comfortable to sleep with the soft little maid in your arms at night. Comma, finished breakfast under the service of Maid Sally. Lin Yi clicks on Limited Time Hunting Mission to view it. After one night, the gold coins earned from the task reward accumulated to 76, which shows that the Royal Knights killed dozens more monsters last night. It doesn't seem like much, but this was at night. The extremely low temperatures at night in the desert prevent even monsters from coming out. During the day, the number of monsters will increase exponentially. Especially in the morning and evening, when the temperature is still normal, monsters will appear more frequently. Sally, you just stay home and meditate today. Ah, where is the young master? Cut down the tree. Cutting down trees in the territory and hoarding wood are the tasks Lin Yi has given himself. The mission of the royal knights is to hunt monsters. As a lord, he can also personally do something as small as cutting down a tree. Of course, he has a helper. That was the jackal who had been tied up all night. Such a free labor force is not wasted. After Lin Yi untied the rope from the jackal, the guy not only did not run away, but also did not attack Lin Yi. Instead, he knelt down in front of Lin Yi and enthusiastically called Lin Yi the Lord God Envoy. Lin Yi threw a piece of gray wolf meat casually, which made the jackal even more excited and kowtowed. When you're full, go chop down the trees. Behave better and you still have a chance to survive. Wu, the jackal nodded quickly and said, Great envoy of God, it is a goose honor to be able to serve you. A GU is willing to follow you forever and ever and become your lackey. Let's see how you behave in the future. Lin Yi threw another axe to the jackal. He wasn't worried about the jackal named a GU escaping, nor was he worried about rebelling if he had weapons. This jackal's level is only level 3. And he is a 7th level high level professional. The huge level gap gives him absolutely powerful power to suppress this jackal. If you can't run more than 10 meters in front of him, you will be killed by one of his fireballs or the knight's sword in his hand. But looking at the current situation, thinking about it, even if there was a chance to escape, the jackal AGU would probably not escape. Rather than returning to the Black Wind tribe and continuing to be someone's younger brother, he would rather be Lin Yi's lackey. Sure enough, during the next tree felling work. The jackal Aguma worked very hard. Not only did he help Lin Yi cut down trees, he also took the initiative to carry the chopped wood to the training square and stack it neatly. Seeing Lin Yi put a few red dragon fruits in the workplace, he immediately took the red dragon fruits to the lake to clean them, and handed them to Lin Yi's hand with a flattering look on his face. It was like a meticulous lick. Dog. Comma. At the same time, the Black Wind tribe is located more than 10 kilometers away. A null cavalry legion numbering in the hundreds emerged from the tribe. Kill directly towards the Salt Lake. This is to take revenge on the Royal Knights who killed dozens of their tribesmen in Salt Lake yesterday. Of course, in the end, the Jackal army was defeated. Those humans escaped.
they certainly won't be able to get far in one night. If nothing else happens, their camp must be in the Golden Oasis. If we chase them now, there is a high probability that we can surround them and kill them. Let's go. Head to the Golden Oasis. The Jackal Legion immediately changed direction and headed straight for the Golden Oasis. On the way, a royal knight who was hunting discovered the figure of the Jackal Legion, and immediately led the team back to the Golden Oasis to report to Lin Yi. In fact, Lin Yi already knew about it one step ahead. He received an emergency event trigger task issued by Lord System. That is the attack of the Jackal Legion. Without delay, he directly used the Lord's ability to remotely issue instructions to other teams of Royal Knights who were hunting outside. Soon, all the Royal Knights returned to the Golden Oasis. The same goes for the old butler Huodin, who is working hard to become a ninth-level magician. Master, what happened? The old butler Huodin came over holding a magic wand. As his strength increased, the old magician who had half-stepped into the coffin became more energetic. Lin Yi said, in an unexpected incident, there is a large jackal army trying to attack our territory. I believe it will arrive soon. Revenge from the Black Wind tribe. Hodern turned his attention to the jackal AGU who was standing not far away. Agam suddenly trembled with fear and exclaimed, It has nothing to do with me. I am no longer a member of the Black Wind tribe. I am the most loyal henchman of Lord God Envoy. Lin Yi waved to him, Go and tie yourself to the tree. As you command, great envoy of God. The jackal Aguma quickly ran to a big tree and tied himself up with a rope very skillfully. This operation made the old housekeeper Huo Dean stunned. Lin Yi said to the old butler Huo Dean, Now we have more than a hundred royal knights, and with the increase of the altar halo, our combat effectiveness is not what it used to be. I am not worried about whether I can withstand the attack of the jackal legion, I only care about whether there is no way to kill all the attacking gnolls. Huo Dean said, Master, I think I can hide at the beginning of the battle, and then sneak into the rear of the Jackal Legion, and use Fire Wall, Fire Sea and other range of magic skills to cut off their retreat. This is a good idea. Lin Yi agreed. Nulls are all cavalry and move quickly. Their escape route must be cut off before they can be annihilated in one fell swoop. This is also the disadvantage of not having a riding pet. If all the royal knights under his command had riding pets, it would be very simple to encircle and suppress the Jackal Legion. Soon, defense work was in full swing. Lin Yi moved five arrow towers near the village hall buildings and the territory can be moved. After the village hall was upgraded to high level, the area of the Golden Oasis also became quite large, at least 2,000 meters in length and width. Such a large area cannot be defended by more than a hundred royal knights. Protecting village hall is key. When everything was ready, bursts of howling sounded in the distance almost simultaneously. Comma. Special trigger mission. Task information retrieval. The Nulls of the Black Wind tribe are about to launch a retaliatory war against you because the royal knights under your command invaded the Salt Lake and killed their warriors. Closing square bracket. Mission content. Defeat the incoming Wolf Man army. Task reward. 500 gold coins, a random building drawing. On the rolling sand dunes, hundreds of Nal cavalry emerged. Behind him were a large number of desert coyotes, who were auxiliary soldiers. Is this a golden oasis? Among the legion, a strong jackal man stood up and looked at the large green grass and thick trees in front of him with an expression of astonishment. The other Nals also had expressions of disbelief. The golden oasis in their minds was far from that large an area and there are very few trees. Unlike now, there are big trees with leafy branches everywhere, forming a forest. Is it a powerful magician who is forcibly transforming the golden oasis? Or is it the work of the nature elves? As we all know, the nature elves are the darlings of nature and control the power of nature and life. Among the natural elves, there are many professions that can create plant life. For example, elf mages, druids, etc. In addition, the holy object water of life also has this effect. Moreover, the territory of the nature elves' forest of life is right next door to the Kalar Desert, so it is not impossible for nature elves to appear in the Golden Oasis. Lord Leader, I don't smell the scent of natural elves, but the scent of humans is very strong. They're hiding near Sapphire Lake at the end of the woods. Are we going to kill him directly? Certainly. The strong jackal who was called the leader said, 
You are here, so naturally you have to go and have a look. But you still have to be careful. If you find a powerful human magician, retreat as soon as possible. I obey, my lord. The Jackal Legion sets out again. They used a weird howling sound to summon the desert coyotes behind them, transmigrating the lush woods like a torrent, and rushed straight to the center of the golden oasis, Sapphire Lake. Not long after, they arrived at their destination. The field of vision in front of me suddenly broadened. At first glance, you can see the beautiful Sapphire Lake. The lake is as clean and translucent as a mirror. Occasionally, a breeze blows by, causing sparkling golden light. There is a large area of flat grassland near the lakeside with clusters of flowers. There are also wooden houses, arrow towers, main halls and other buildings. What surprised the jackals the most was that they actually saw an orchard. Every fruit tree was covered with small light red flowers, and they also exuded fluctuations of magic power. This is obviously an orchard of magic fruit. This situation made every jackal red-eyed. In the Karar Desert, demonic yuan fruit is a rare thing. What's more, there are acres of orchards. If they can occupy this place, they will be prosperous. However, it seems that it is not easy to capture this place, because a human regiment has been assembled near the lake. Although the scale is only about a hundred people, the level is not low. The lowest level is level 5. The highest reached level 6. And all of them are fully armed. He looked like a regular regiment. In comparison, although their Null army was several times larger in size, it was more like a miscellaneous army. The equipment is not comparable, and the momentum is also much worse. The information is correct, this must be a regular army from Stanlow Kingdom. All are mid-level professionals. A quarter reached level 6. If this human core is forcibly destroyed, our losses will probably be considerable. Listening to the discussions around me, the strong jackal leader said, as long as we can win, no matter how heavy the casualties are, we can accept it. The orchard alone is enough to make up for all the losses. The leader is right. A group of Jackal Legion executives agreed. Soon, the attack order was issued. Blessed by the wolf god. Kill. Ho ho ho. The dense swarm of desert coyotes was the first to attack. These desert coyotes are equivalent to death squads, intent on breaking through the Royal Horse Regiment's camp. Hundreds of Nal cavalry followed behind. While shooting arrows at the Royal Knights, he prepared to launch a more violent charge. Facing the enemy troops coming like a tide, the Royal Cavalry Regiment not only did not show any complacency, but instead took the initiative to greet them. They swung their swords and easily cut off the flying arrows. Immediately afterwards, a faint golden light emerged from each of the Royal Knights. At that moment, their speed increased dramatically. In an instant, he completed the surprise attack dozens of meters away and collided with hundreds of desert coyotes. The terrifying force directly knocked away a large number of desert coyotes. They were like tigers entering a flock of sheep, with the knight's sword in their hands constantly dancing, easily killing the ferocious desert coyotes in seconds. In less than a minute, more than half of the hundreds of desert coyotes were killed. The battlefield was littered with coyote carcasses. Blood dyed the grass red. The desert outcasts who were lucky enough to survive were also frightened. They were so frightened that they fled whimpering, not daring to get close to the royal knights whose combat prowess was beyond the limit. The Jackal Legion was also shocked. Unexpectedly, the strength of these royal knights was so terrifying. Are the combat effectiveness of all regular human legions this strong? Don't worry, I have the advantage, go in. Kill. Hundreds of Nal cavalry rush into the battlefield. They put away their bows and arrows and replaced them with a variety of melee weapons. In an attempt to defeat the Royal Cavalry Regiment with the advantage of 1 plus 1, which is greater than 2. The Desert Coyotes, who were so frightened that they almost ran away with their tails between their legs, also rushed into the battlefield howling. A more intense war broke out. On the chaotic battlefield, facing several times more enemies, every Royal Knight is basically one against many. In addition to fighting those Jackal Cavalry, they also had to guard against sneak attacks from Desert Coyotes. This situation is very unfavorable. But in general, this still does not have much impact on the Royal Knights who are full of fighting power. They are all armed to the teeth. The thick magic armor on their bodies made them not care about the attacks of desert coyotes, and sometimes they even did not resist the attacks of jackal cavalry. 
They wielded knightly swords like war machines. Every time you attack, an enemy will surely fall on the battlefield. Gradually, the number of Nal cavalry and desert coyotes on the battlefield became smaller and smaller. At this time, a jackal finally noticed something was wrong. How come these humans are so powerful in combat? Obviously I am a mid-level professional, but it gives me a feeling of powerlessness against high-level professionals. They must have taken the magic potion. Something's wrong, retreat. The strong Nal leader raised the mace in his hand and roared. His level reached level 7. But when he faced a 6th level royal knight, he had a very difficult fight, and it took all his life to repel the 6th level royal knight. Even he has such a hard time, let alone others. Everyone withdraw from the battlefield. Wait until the effects of the magic potion on these humans wear off before killing them back. Although magic potions can improve combat effectiveness, they generally have strong side effects. The most common one is weakness. He planned to fight again later. After receiving the order, the jackal cavalry quickly left the battlefield and fled to the rear. The few dozen remaining desert coyotes are also slithering away very quickly. In this wave of battles, both the jackal legion and the desert coyotes suffered heavy losses. Just because they far underestimated the combat effectiveness of the royal knights. They only saw that the size of their legion was several times that of the royal knights, and they felt that they had an advantage. However, they did not expect that all the royal knights on the battlefield were perverts. Killing them is as easy as killing a chicken. We are cavalry, those humans can't catch up with us. After entering the woods, take a rest first. When the effects of the magic potion on those humans disappear and they enter a weak state, we will fight back as soon as possible. The jackal leader felt that his plan was very feasible. But many times, plans cannot keep up with changes. Just a few seconds before the jackal cavalry were about to escape into the woods, a raging flame burned in front of them without warning, spanning a distance of more than 40 meters. In addition to the sea of fire all over the place, there are also walls of fire. Forcibly cutting off the retreat route of the jackal cavalry legion. You can see that at the end of the flames, an old-looking figure is constantly waving a magic wand, releasing one after another range of fire magic. Soon, the Jackal Cavalry Legion was surrounded by a sea of fire and a wall of fire. The only gap was the approaching Royal Cavalry Regiment from the rear. Human Magician, we've been tricked. These humans have known for a long time that we will attack the Golden Oasis, and they have laid a trap in advance. Lord Leader, it's meaningless to say this now, what should we do? Quote dot 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 quote. The Null Leader stared intently at the Royal Cavalry Regiment, which was approaching unhurriedly from behind. Even he couldn't rush through the sea of fire, which was nearly 50 meters in diameter. After all, that is the magic released by a high-level magician. The lethality is terrifyingly powerful. We have no choice but to fight hard. Break through the defensive formations of those human professionals, and we escape from the Golden Oasis from other directions. As he spoke, he summoned all the Null Cavalry. Together they rushed in the direction of the Royal Cavalry. Comma. Charging the Royal Cavalry Regiment like an iron barrel, the outcome of the Jackal Cavalry can be imagined. Their desperate charge did not even allow the Royal Cavalry to take a step back. He was forcibly blocked in the encirclement. What followed was a one-sided massacre. With the help of the Lucky Halo, the Royal Knights, whose combat effectiveness increased by 50%, were simply not something that these motley Jackal Cavalry could compete with. Not to mention that after setting up the flame encirclement, the old butler who Odin also joined the battle. His high-level magic is invincible on this battlefield. Any bursting fireball can clear out all enemies within a 10-meter radius. Comma. The entire battle lasted less than an hour. All the Null cavalry and desert coyotes who participated in the battle were killed, and the total number of enemies killed reached more than 1,200 plus some of the Null mounts, coyotes. There were also some mounted coyotes that were not killed. There are about 130 of them. This was left on purpose. These mount coyotes have been tamed by Nalls and are more docile than desert coyotes of the same race. Lin Yi kept them because he planned to make them mounts for the royal knights. Of course it's only temporary. The desert coyote is a low-level monster, not even comparable to the gray wolf, and its growth potential is too low. These coyotes will be replaced when more suitable mounts become available. As for subduing the Mount Coyote, it is also very simple for the Royal Knights. 
You don't even need to sign a riding pet contract. Three punches and two kicks will do it. Lord Lord. A royal knight who rose to level 7 during the battle came to Lin Yi and said respectfully, the war is over. A total of seven royal knights were killed, three were seriously injured, and more than 20 were lightly injured, but this does not affect the continued fighting. The bodies of the seven royal knights who died in the battle have been collected. It is gradually transforming into bright golden light and disappearing. There were many royal knights standing around, all seeing him off with knightly rites. However, none of the royal knights showed signs of sadness. Instead, he felt happy for his fallen comrades. Because they know that these royal knights who sacrificed heroically did not really die, but went to a mysterious space and will be resurrected in the Lord's kingdom of God and achieve eternal life. And this is also their dream. I see. Lin Yi nodded. Then he called the royal knights over and said, Soldiers are very quick. You go to the Black Wind tribe now and kill all the jackals there. This war consumed the main force of the Black Wind tribe. Now is the best time to counterattack. Once the Black Wind tribe receives news of its defeat, the jackals there will inevitably take away supplies and flee as soon as possible. It would be quite difficult to kill them at that time. Where can I find someone in this vast sea of sand? The old butler who owed Dean came over and said, Master, if we directly destroy the Black Wind tribe, if the ancestral land of the jackals learns about it, I am afraid that a large army will attack. He still remembered that the jackal Aguma once claimed that there were hundreds of thousands of jackals in their ancestral land. Such strength is enough to easily destroy the golden oasis. Lin Yi said with a smile, when you choose to wake up a giant dragon, you must be prepared for the dragon's revenge. For us now, the ancestral land of the jackals is indeed a giant dragon, but soon that's not it. Besides, the destruction of a small tribe is not worthy of the wolf man's ancestral land going to war. On the contrary, if we don't wipe out this tribe and let them send news to the ancestral land of the jackals, it will be even more detrimental to us. The old butler who owed Dean thought about it and felt that what Lin Yi said made sense. Jackals are a very vengeful race. If they don't cut the grass and root out the problem, the Black Wind tribe will definitely go to their ancestral land to ask for help, and they have always attracted a large army of jackals. On the contrary, by destroying the Black Wind tribe, you can also buy time for development. Let's go, go early and come back early, Lin Yi said to the seventh level royal knight. After reaching level seven, the equipment on this royal knight has become obviously more sophisticated. This is a good news. This saves you the trouble of changing equipment for the royal knights in the future. The old butler who owed Dean said, Master, I also want to go with you to prevent accidents. Hearing this, Lin Yi nodded. This old man obviously didn't enjoy the battle just now. Most of the enemies died in the hands of the royal knights, but he didn't kill many, and the experience he gained was pitiful, which was far from enough for him to be promoted to a ninth level magician. Take the jackal Agu with you and let him guide you. With that said, Lin Yi distributed grey wolf meat and three red dragon fruits to each of the royal knights for them to eat on the way. The former can fill your stomach. The latter can restore the magic power in the royal knights to a certain extent. The royal knights, who had just experienced a war, were in great need of replenishment. Soon the household cavalry were on their way. Except for those seriously injured royal knights, the other royal knights and the old butler Huodin were riding on the backs of coyotes, pouring out of the golden oasis like a tide, and heading straight towards the Black Wind tribe. As for Lin Yi, he was cleaning the battlefield and counting the gains brought by this war. The first is Trigger Mission Reward. With the destruction of the Jackal Legion, Lin Yi received 500 gold coins and a random building blueprint. The second is Limited Time Hunting Mission. Currently, more than 1,600 gold coins have been accumulated double the gold coins of humanoid monsters. When the mission time limit is over, the accumulated gold coins can be withdrawn. Just this task made Lin Yi earn a lot of money. He is confident that before and after the limited time hunting mission, he will not only upgrade the village hall to the town hall, but also upgrade the royal knight training ground to another level. Here, Lin Yi used random architectural drawings. I don't know if it was because of good luck that he randomly received a blueprint that could be used to build a special building. On the contrary, ordinary building drawings such as warehouse, blacksmith shop, pharmaceutical shop, etc. have never been obtained. Comma, special architectural drawings, fairy spring, building information, 
a building capable of producing fairy spring water. Construction requirements, 1,000 gold coins and 500 units of stone. Closing square bracket, comma, what is fairy spring water? Lin Yi asked about Lord System. Soon, he received a response Elf Spring Water is a magic potion containing a huge amount of life elements, which can quickly heal the injuries of the people in the territory. Elf Spring Water also has certain effects in strengthening physical fitness and improving magic power. Closing square bracket. Nice one. He immediately put the drawings away. It will be built after the stones are available. He does not lack the 1,000 gold coins needed for the construction, but only lacks stones. The hundreds of units of stone mined yesterday were basically completely consumed after building the lucky altar and the five arrow towers. Speaking of arrow tower, it didn't come in handy in this war. First, the combat effectiveness of the Jackal Cavalry Legion was too weak, and they did not reach the village hall side at all. Secondly, the Royal Knights would not gain experience from the enemies killed by the Arrow Tower, so he simply did not move them to the battlefield. Comma. After cleaning the battlefield, it was already evening. The Maid Sally is still here to help, otherwise it would be much longer. Mainly because those corpses are too troublesome to dispose of. The corpses of jackals cannot be eaten, let alone buried, to avoid contaminating the water source of Sapphire Lake. We can only remove their equipment one by one, and then use fire magic to burn the corpses. As for the desert coyote carcasses, they had to be dissected one by one. Putting all this aside, Lin Yi collected a total of more than 1,200 gold coins, and thousands of various weapons and defensive equipment on the battlefield. There are also three blueprints and two gold coin bags. Two gold coin bags allowed Lin Yi to gain nearly 400 additional gold coins. The three drawings are respectively two number of arms drawings and one equipment drawing. After using the two drawings on the number of troops, Lin Yi added 60 fully armed royal knights to his command. Comma. Equipment drawings. Information. Using blueprints, your territory will unlock the ability to create high-level standard bows and arrows. Closing square bracket. Special reminder. Blacksmith shop and blacksmith are required to craft equipment. Closing square bracket. Comma, this drawing cannot be used for the time being. Lin Yi put them into his carry-on space bag. Then check your own information. Lin Yi, Identity, Lord, Viscount of Stanlow Kingdom. Territory, Golden Oasis, Level, Ordinary Level 8. Lord Talent, Myriad Races Favored 1, Super Divine Level. Gold Coins, 2723. Before the war started, Lin Yi's level was still level 7, but now he has been promoted to level 8. On the same level as the old butler Huodin. However, he did not break through in this war. It was the Royal Cavalry Regiment's attack on the Black Wind tribe that allowed him to gain a lot of experience, again, which enabled his level to be promoted. More than 2,700 gold coins. The speed of this increase is a bit beyond my expectation. I thought I would be able to collect 3,000 gold coins by tomorrow, but I didn't expect it would be done so soon. Lin Yi plans to upgrade the Royal Knights Training Ground to level 3 after collecting 3,000 gold coins so that he can recruit more Royal Knights tomorrow. Counting the 60 Royal Knights summoned with the blueprint just now. With another wave of recruitment tomorrow, the total number of Royal Knights under his command will exceed 200. The more there are, the more monsters can be killed. Comma. Joined by 60 royal knights, the autopsy of Coyote's corpse was quickly completed. In total, more than 700 wolf skins, several wolf teeth, and more than 60 magic crystals were harvested. There are also nearly 10,000 units of wolf meat. Food has increased dramatically again. This forced Lin Yi to start having a headache again with the preservation of wolf meat. The good news is that the Black Wind tribe is gone. For the time being, no jackals will disturb his territory to mine the salt lake, and he can obtain a large amount of coarse salt to marinate wolf meat. Not long after, the Royal Cavalry Regiment that went on an expedition against the Black Wind tribe also returned to the Golden Oasis. Not only did they seize a large amount of supplies, but they also brought back more than 600 desert coyotes to Lin Yi. The Black Wind tribe raised nearly 3,000 desert coyotes in total. When the Royal Cavalry Regiment captured the Black Wind tribe, they killed some and captured some. In addition to those captured before, 
There are nearly 800 desert coyotes alone in my territory. More than the number of royal knights. I just don't know if these desert coyotes eat wolf meat, otherwise just raising them would be a big problem. Fortunately, Lin Yi's worries were unnecessary. It is true that desert coyotes do not eat the meat of their own species, but when Lin Yi put gray wolf meat in front of a desert coyote, the guy ate it like crazy. This also shows that the relationship between desert coyotes and gray wolves is not very friendly. Master, the old butler who owed Dean came over in high spirits and said to Lin Yi with a smile, we have gained a lot from the capture of the Black Wind tribe this time. Especially the food, we returned with a full load. Thank you for your hard work, old housekeeper. Lin Yi is also smiling. He had seen it when the team came back. Each desert coyote carried large and small bags on its back, and the royal knights also carried huge packages, which were all filled with captured supplies. The old butler Hodern added, The Black Wind tribe still has many supplies, and the carcasses of more than a thousand desert coyotes have not been brought back. The royal cavalry may have to make another trip. As he spoke, he took out a large number of gold coins and other items from his space bag and handed them to Lin Yi's hand. Master, these things were revealed during the attack on the Black Wind tribe. There are more than 1,400 gold coins in total. There are also two blueprints and three gold coin bags. Three gold coin bags yielded more than 500 gold coins. There are two drawings, one of which is the warehouse drawing that Lin Yi has been thinking about. The other one is also a territorial architectural drawing, named Livestock Farm. Comma. General architectural drawings. Warehouse. Building information. After use, your territory will have a warehouse that can store food for a long time, and the reserve will increase with the level of the warehouse. Construction requirements. 300 units of wood and 100 units of stone. Closing square bracket. Comma. General architectural drawings. Livestock farm. Building information. A building that can house livestock, including but not limited to riding pets. Closing square bracket. Construction requirements. 500 units of wood. Nice one. Lin Yi sighed in praise. Warehouse drawings came very promptly. He doesn't need to arrange for the Royal Knights to go to the Salt Lake to collect salt tomorrow. All Royal Knights can participate in the hunt. The salt collected in the future can also be sold directly to the sand people or human caravans passing through the Golden Oasis. As for the livestock farm drawing, it's the icing on the cake. He was worried about having nowhere to house the hundreds of desert coyotes. They could be kept at the stockyards at night and hunted with the household cavalry during the day. If he is dead, drag the body back and cut it up. After all, they are just low-level monsters, and their cultivation value is really not high. Even if some desert coyotes become the mounts of the royal knights, it is only temporary. Once you get a better riding pet, you have to replace it immediately. Comma. Immediately, Lin Yi found a suitable open space on the other side of Sapphire Lake, built a livestock ranch and drove hundreds of desert coyotes into it. Livestock farm. Level. Low level. Building information. You can raise various livestock in the livestock farm, including riding pets and magical beasts. Closing square bracket. Building effect. The fertility of livestock is increased by three times, the growth cycle is shortened proportionally, and there is a very low probability of achieving bloodline evolution. Closing square bracket. Next level. Middle level livestock farm. Upgrade requirements. 3,000 units of wood. Special reminder. Improving the level of the livestock farm can increase the probability of livestock bloodline evolution. Closing square bracket. Comma. You can actually evolve. Lin Yi was a little surprised. I just don't know what the desert coyote can evolve into. In addition, Lin Yi also found that after entering the livestock farm, the hundreds of desert coyotes quickly became quiet and visibly changed from unruly to docile. They were previously suppressed by the royal knights using physical means. There was always a hint of ferocity in his eyes. Now, he is as docile as a family pet. When Lin Yi came closer, instead of whimpering and retreating, they ran over very close and rubbed their heads against Lin Yi's trouser legs. This is amazing. Return to the village hall. Lin Yi recruited the royal knights from the territory and assigned them tasks. The large army led the Desert Coyote Legion to the Black Wind tribe and transported the remaining supplies back. A small number of people went to the nearby Stone Mountain. It's not too late yet. 
so I ask them to mine some stone and come back, and collect at least 100 units to build a warehouse. Soon, the royal knights set off again. Hundreds of desert coyotes also poured out of the livestock farm, and their obedience was countless times higher than before. Almost to the point of prohibition. Lin Yi checked his gold coin reserves and found that they had reached nearly 4,800 gold coins, which fully met the requirements for upgrading to the third level at the Royal Knight Training Ground. Without hesitation, Lin Yi immediately upgraded the level of this military building. It consumes 3,000 gold coins. Comma. Royal Knight Training Ground. Level. Level 3. Recruitable Troops. Royal Knights. Recruitment Quantity. 50 Royal Knights can be recruited every day. Closing square bracket. Upgrade requirements. 5,000 gold coins. Special reminder 1. Upgrade the level of the military building to recruit more military units. Closing square bracket. Special reminder 2. The Royal Knight is a cavalry unit. Equipping it with suitable riding pets can greatly improve the Royal Knight's combat effectiveness. Closing square bracket. Comma. After 12 o'clock, you can directly recruit 50 Royal Knights. With that said, Lin Yi took another look at the territory's basic resource reserves. Timber, 2,735 units. Stone, 28 units. Food, 58,640 units. The sudden increase in food resources comes from the harvest from the capture of the Black Wind Tribe. When the Royal Knights bring back the remaining supplies of the Black Wind Tribe, the food reserves in the territory will increase sharply again. After all, there are more than a thousand desert coyote corpses there alone. Next, Lin Yi took the Maid Sally and the Jackal Agu to sort out the harvested equipment, wolf skins, wolf teeth and other items one by one, classifying them by level. According to the old butler Huo Dean, the Jackal Agu performed quite well in the battle to capture the Black Wind tribe. Not only did he lead the way, but he also became a traitor. Opened the gate of the Black Wind tribe's village. Let the Royal Cavalry Regiment easily enter the Black Wind tribe. In view of this merit, Lin Yi exempted the Jackal Agu from being a prisoner and made him the first alien citizen in the territory. Praise you, great envoy of God. This sentence has become the mantra on the lips of Jackal Agam. He has now fully entered the role of God's envoy, the fool. He would do whatever Lin Yi asked him to do. Even if there were no special instructions, he would do it actively. And never cried tired, comma, it's late at night. Not long after Lin Yi and the other three had sorted out the supplies in the territory. A group of royal knights who went to Stone Mountain also came back with stones. A total of more than 200 units of stones were mined, which met the upgrade requirements of warehouse. Soon, the warehouse drawings disappeared in Lin Yi's hands. A building similar to a yurt appeared near the village hall. Storehouse. Level. Low level. Supplies that can be reserved. 1 million units. Next level. Middle level warehouse. Upgrade requirements. 3,000 units of wood, 1,000 units of stone. Lin Yi walked into the warehouse immediately. As soon as we entered, our view suddenly broadened. This is an extremely large reserve space, larger than the training square. No wonder it can hold a million units of supplies. Sure enough, there is a grotto heaven inside. You can't tell from the outside. After coming out of the warehouse, Lin Yi stored all the supplies in the territory, including the thousands of kilograms of red dragon fruits piled in his space bag. Storage and access to the warehouse are not troublesome. As a lord, Lin Yi can do it with just a thought. Now that we have a warehouse, we no longer have to worry about food spoiling due to uneaten food. This made Lin Yi feel better for a while. The only thing that made him uncomfortable was the upgrade requirements for the next level of the warehouse. Upgrading the middle level warehouse actually requires 3,000 units of wood and 1,000 units of stone, which is a full 10 times higher than the construction cost. Same thing with livestock farm. It only requires 500 units of wood to build, but 5,000 units of wood to upgrade to middle level. It's really dark. There is also the altar of luck which consumes a full 10,000 gold coins, plus 5,000 units of stones, which makes Lin Yi unable to look straight at it. Resources are needed everywhere. The key is that the territory doesn't have enough manpower. Just when Lin Yi was troubled, the Jackal AGU suddenly appeared and said with a flattering face, Great Envoy, the territory does not have enough manpower, you can hire sand people. 
There are three Sand People strongholds in the territory of the Black Wind tribe. There are more than 2,000 Sand People in total. Now that you have eliminated the Black Wind tribe, your servants believe that they will be very happy to serve you. Hear this. Lin Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. He reached out and patted the head of the jackal AGU, and praised, A GU, I found that you have the potential to become an idiot, you have to keep working hard. Praise the great envoy of God. Jackal Aguma was so excited that he almost shed tears. This task is entrusted to you. Lin Yi said to the jackal Agu, Tomorrow you will go to the three sand people strongholds and bring their leaders to see me. Do you have the confidence? Hearing this, the jackal man Aguma trembled with fear. In order to rule the three sand people strongholds, the Black Wind tribe's methods were not very merciful. If he goes there as a jackal, there is no chance that he will be torn into pieces by those sand people. However, he had second thoughts. The person standing behind him was a divine envoy who had wiped out the Black Wind tribe. As long as the facts were made clear, those sand people would not dare to act rashly for their own tribe. All he needs is the courage to break into the sand people's stronghold alone. Jackal Agam immediately said, Great God Envoy, I promise to complete the mission. Very good. Lin Yi praised again. Little people also have their uses. Comma. It was past 12 o'clock at night. Royal Knight Training Ground recruitment has been refreshed again. Lin Yi decisively summoned the New Day's Royal Knights, a total of 50. At this point, the number of Royal Knights under his command has officially exceeded 200, reaching more than 230. Go on patrol. Lin Yi dispatched the newly summoned Royal Knight. Soon after, the main force of the Royal Knights returned to the Golden Oasis with hundreds of desert coyotes. After two moves, the Black Wind tribe's supplies have basically been emptied. In exchange, the territory's warehouse supplies surged again. After instructing the Royal Cavalry to dissect the corpses of more than a thousand desert coyotes brought back, Lin Yi led the maid Sally back to the village hall to prepare for bed. It's the fifth day. In two days, my super divine level Lord Talent will be refreshed. At that time, a new military building will be added to my territory. Hopefully my luck will be better this time. The combat effectiveness of the Royal Knights is indeed not low, but that is when facing low-level intelligent creatures and low-level monsters such as gnolls, gray wolves, and desert coyotes. If you are facing high-level creatures, for example, holy monsters and advanced transcendent races, the shortcomings of the Royal Knights, both in terms of strength and growth potential, will be immediately apparent. After all, it's just a middle-level unit. His territory needs more powerful troops as trump cards. Troops can be divided into five levels according to their growth potential, namely low-level troops, middle-level troops, high-level troops, crown troops, and divine-level troops. Lin Yi does not expect to be able to randomly choose the divine-level unit building. But as long as there is a champion unit, he will wake up from his dream with a smile. This night, Lin Yi's dream is indeed sweet. She didn't know what she was dreaming about, but Lin Yi grinned widely. It woke up Sally who was sleeping next to her. The little maid was stunned for a long time before she retreated into Lin Yi's arms and continued to sleep. Comma. Early in the morning, the jackal man Aguma set off on a desert coyote. The royal knights in the territory also formed their own teams and went hunting in the sand sea outside the oasis. The old butler who owed Dean also embarked on the journey again. In the huge territory, only Lin Yi, the maid Sally, and a dozen royal knights who were recovering from injuries were left. Lin Yi opens his own lord mission menu. The new side tasks have still not been refreshed, and he only has two tasks left in progress. One is the main mission, upgrading town hall. One is limited time hunting mission. So far, the number of reward gold coins for hunting missions has accumulated to 4,135 and as the Royal Knights hunt desert monsters, the number of reward gold coins continues to rise. Today's goal is to upgrade the town hall. Lin Yi stretched and walked out of the village hall. In his hand was a knight's sword that shone with metallic luster. His job today is still to chop down trees. Not to mention too much, at least the 3,000 units of wood needed to upgrade the town hall must be collected. However, it's not a lot of work. After building the warehouse and livestock farm yesterday, he still has nearly 2,000 units of lumber left in his stockpile, and he can complete the project by adding more than 1,000 units. Comma. Morning time. 
Jackal Laguma transmigrated across the vast sea of sand and finally arrived at the first Sand People stronghold. Sand People are humans too. But he was not accepted by the human empire in Land of Plenty. This is because the ancestors of the Sand People were criminals who were exiled to the Karar Desert by the human empire of Plenty Land. All Sand People are the sons of criminals. Once any Sand People cross the forest of life and enter the base camp of the human empire, they will be arrested immediately. In addition, there will be black-hearted merchants from the human empire who will enter the Kalar Desert, secretly capture young and beautiful daughters of the Sand People, and sell them to the nobles of the human empire as slaves. Of course, this is a private matter. On the surface, merchants from the human empire are still allowed to enter the Karar Desert to trade resources with the Sand People. The fundamental reason is that the Karar Desert is too barren. The Sand Kingdom does not have the confidence to cut off trade with the human empire in the land of abundance. Stop, Nals from the Black Wind tribe. This is our Sand People's territory. Do you want to break the rules? Before approaching the Sand People's stronghold, the Jackal Aguma was intercepted by several figures in grey robes. There were seven Sand People in total, all armed with weapons. But both the weapons and the clothes they wore were very crude and even tattered far inferior to the jackal cavalry. It can be seen from this that it makes sense for these sand people not to resist the brutality of the Black Wind tribe. You humble sand people. Bones, the Nal, rides on the back of a desert coyote. He puffed out his chest and raised his head proudly. I have brought you good news that can change your destiny. Hurry up and ask your leader to come see me. Hearing this, all the sand people looked at each other. There were even more sand people with fierce looks in their eyes. He doesn't have the slightest fondness for a G.U., who is a jackal. But when they thought of the ferocity of the Black Wind tribe, they did not dare to take action. In the end, a few sand people could only bring the Nalagu into their stronghold and find the leader. The leader of the sand people in the stronghold is a professional, but he is only at level 4. He looked at the jackal Aguma, and after a moment of silence, he said, What news do you want to tell me? If it is to increase the amount of materials to be handed over, then you can go back. The Black Wind tribe can't even think about leaving our stronghold before the deadline for handing over take away even a grain of corn. A large number of sand people gathered nearby. Everyone was staring at the Jackal AGU with angry expressions. The Jackal Aguma showed no fear and loudly said to the leader of the sand people, the Black Wind tribe has been wiped out by my great master. Except for me, all the jackals have been exiled to hell. I came to tell you that my master wants to see you. Get on your moose and follow me. We have two more bases to go to. The sand people stronghold was in a state of excitement. The words of jackal Agam made the sand people unbelievable, but they had to believe it. Because this is what a jackal from the Black Wind tribe said personally. It can never be fake. Besides, what's the point of deceiving them? Lure their leader out and then kill him. With the strength and work style of the Black Wind tribe, they would never do such a thing. If you want to deal with them, just send the Jackal Legion to kill them. No need for intrigues. In other words, the Black Wind tribe was really wiped out. This is really. God opens your eyes and the gods bless you. Comma. Hurry up. Don't waste time. Do you want my great master to wait for you? The Jackal Man Aguma said to the leader of the Sand People in a very rude tone. The leader of the Sand People was silent for a moment again, then nodded and said, I will go with you, please wait a moment for the envoy. He did not dare to neglect and quickly explained the affairs of the stronghold. Then he took a few Sand People, each riding a moose, and left the stronghold with the Jackal Agu with the blessings of hundreds of tribesmen. Next is the second stronghold and the third stronghold. Things went surprisingly smoothly. The Jackal Aguma easily completed the task and gathered the three leaders of the Sand People. Lord Messenger, where are we going? After transmigrating one dune after another, one of the Sand People leaders couldn't help but ask. The three Sand People leaders are all professionals. Two are level 4 and one is level 5. They are all around 30 years old, in their prime. Jackal Agam said, Go to the Golden Oasis, which has become my master's territory. When you see my master, you must remain respectful, otherwise disaster will befall you. Clear, thank you, Lord Messenger, for the reminder. The three Sand People leaders quickly expressed their thanks. The Jackal AGU, who was only level 3, was not taken seriously by them. 
but the master standing behind the jackal agu was enough to command their awe because that master killed the black wind tribe at the same time they were curious about the origins of the master who dared to directly occupy the peace zone golden oasis he was most likely a foreigner comma the great brewster is the true god is that a golden oasis why is it completely different from what i remember the three sand people leaders and the tribesmen behind them looked at the densely packed tall trees in front of them all with dumbfounded expressions brewster is the true god worshipped by the sand people also the ancestor of the sand people he once established the sand people kingdom in the karar desert with great means countless sand people united because of him and finally established a foothold in the karar desert legend has it that brewster was promoted to immortality after his successful retirement of course it doesn't matter the sand people discovered that the area of this forest is extremely large and every big tree has lush branches and leaves under the trees there are flowers in bloom and green grass just like the scene in the painting but just on one side of the woods there was yellow sand everywhere and flying dust like two completely different worlds one filled with dead silence the other exudes a surging breath of life I remember that area was supposed to be rolling sand dunes, but now it's turned into a forest. This miraculous method can only be accomplished by the legendary water of life from the natural elves, or by extremely powerful natural magicians. The lord who occupies the golden oasis must be a great being. In the shocking eyes, the sand people followed the jackal bones into the woods. They walked carefully, even lightly, for fear of trampling on the green grass and flowers under my feet. Only these sand people, who have lived in arid deserts all their lives, understand the preciousness of life. Finally, the group passed through the lush woods. A familiar picture appeared in their field of vision. The Blue Sapphire Lake. The sand people living in this area have all come to Sapphire Lake more or less. After all, there is something indispensable for them, water source. Just at this time, some people suddenly thought of a question. That is, the golden oasis is occupied by foreigners. Then won't they be able to come back to get water in the future? This is really fatal, comma. In addition to the beautiful sapphire lake, the sand people also discovered many buildings on the lakeside and an orchard full of light red flowers. Even though they are far apart, they can feel the breath of magic. Brewster is a god. There is actually an orchard full of demonic fruit trees planted here. It's simply so luxurious. When they come here, the sand people feel like they are in paradise. The scenes in front of them can only be seen in their dreams. At this time, there was a strange sound in the distance. A tall giant tree collapsed suddenly, green leaves flying. Standing near the fallen tree was a young man with his upper body naked, holding a knight's sword with a cold light in his hand. The young man wiped the sweat from his forehead and walked towards another big tree next to him. A few swords down. Another big tree was cut down. Seeing this, the sand people's eyes turned green and they almost screamed. Cutting down trees in the desert is a desecration of life and the gifts of nature. Even a ferocious jackal would not do such a thing. That is my great master. A powerful lord with divine power. Today's golden oasis was transformed by my master's divine power. Jackal A.G.U. said with admiration. The moment he saw Lin Yi, his proud chest immediately bent. He can be awesome outside. Back in the Golden Oasis, he is the master's lackey. Jackal Aguma remembers this very clearly. Without hesitation, he immediately led a group of sand people and quickly walked towards Lin Yi. Lin Yi also saw the group of people and found a wooden post to sit down on. Soon, a group of people came closer. Jackal Agam knelt down and bowed down in a very skilled manner, and said respectfully, Great envoy of God, I have brought you the leaders of the three sand people strongholds. Very good. Lin Yi applauded. He also took out a red dragon fruit from the space bag and rewarded it to the jackal Aguma. This excited jackal Agam so much that his body trembled involuntarily. On the other side, the three sand people leaders also saluted Lin Yi with the tribesmen behind them. The attitude was very respectful. Although Lin Yi's level was not high enough for them to look up to, which surprised them, it did not prevent Lin Yi from being able to kill them easily. Moreover, the status of, God given, also makes them feel in awe. They believed what the jackal Agu said. After all, 
how could an eighth-level professional create all kinds of miracles in this desert without the power given by God? Chapter 21 Dear Lord, I wonder what your order was when you brought us here. One of the Sand People leaders asked with a respectful expression. Don't be nervous, Lin Yi said with a smile. I heard that there are more than 2,000 Sand People in your three strongholds. My territory has just been established and I need manpower to help me build it. It is our honor to serve the Lord. After saying this, the leader of the Sand People looked at Lin Yi cautiously and asked, I just don't know how my weak tribesmen can help the Lord. Don't worry, I'm not asking you to fight for me. Lin Yi could see the worry in the leader of the Sand People at a glance. Your daily work is to mine stones for me, cut down trees, and go to the salt tide to dry salt, etc. The matter of hunting monsters will not be left to you, you can't control it. Among the three Sand People leaders, the highest level is only level 5. As for the dozen Sand People behind them, they were all weak and low-level professionals. If nothing unexpected happens, the Sand People in the stronghold are even weaker. Letting them go hunting is basically equivalent to giving extra food to the monsters. After hearing what Lin Yi said, the three Sand People leaders also breathed a sigh of relief obviously. Their tribesmen are fully capable of tasks such as quarrying and logging. The fifth level Sand People leader said, Dear Lord, I can summon a hundred tribesmen to work for you in my stronghold. Any more will affect the normal life of the stronghold. Please have mercy, my people also have to run for their lives. The other two Sand People leaders were also ready to speak. However, he was interrupted by Lin Yi waving his hand. Lin Yi said, I give you two choices. One is to bring your tribe to join my territory and become my subjects. I will make every one of your tribe well fed and clothed warmly. The second choice is still yours. But each stronghold needs to provide me with 300 sand people, and I will provide them with the food and water they need daily as payment. Hearing this, the three sand people leaders were stunned. The sand people behind them all had dull expressions. In fact, they never expected to get paid from Lin Yi in the first place. To put it simply, they are mentally prepared to work for nothing. If only Lin Yi could be kinder. They can tolerate it as long as they are not squeezed or exploited excessively. As for labor remuneration, that kind of thing is simply too luxurious for the sand people and is unheard of. Brewster is really awesome, a leader of the sand people asked with a trembling voice. Dear Lord, are you really willing to accept a sand people as subjects under your command? Instead of, rather than becoming your slaves. Lin Yi said with a smile, things like slaves will only make my territory dirty. As long as you work hard, the golden oasis will be your new home. Praise you, my merciful Lord. The leader of the sand people knelt before Lin Yi without hesitation. The other two sand people leaders, as well as the dozen or so sand people, also knelt down in excitement. To them, Golden Oasis is paradise, it would be a dream to live in a place like this. As for the peace contract that has nothing to do with them. In this desert filled with deathly silence, it would be good for them to survive. How can you care about anything else? Moreover, the Lord in front of him is also a God-giver. They believed that this Lord would be able to create more miracles. You made a very wise choice. Lin Yi smiled and said, Now, you can return to your stronghold and bring your people to the Golden Oasis. As you command, Great Lord. After another thousand thanks, the Sand People quickly left the Golden Oasis. Looking at their backs as they walked away excitedly, Jackal Agam couldn't help but said, Great God Envoy, you are too kind to these humble Sand People. With the strength of your legion, you can conquer them by force. War means casualties. When one sand citizen dies, there is one less labor force. Lin Yi glanced sideways at the jackal Agam. Kill them all, and then you go mine stones and cut wood for me. To him, these sand people are free labor. No salary is required, only food and accommodation are provided. For this reason, those sand people were still grateful to him. Where can I find such good things? Seeing the jackal Aguma getting ready to kneel down in fear, Lin Yi kicked him on the butt, hurry up, take your axe and chop down the trees. If you can't chop down a hundred trees, you won't have food to eat at night. Ah, great god envoy, I will go now. Jackal Agam suddenly rolled and crawled. However, his dog has a very obvious bright smile on his face. Lin Yi's act of kicking his butt was regarded as a gift by him. Comma, 
The time soon came to afternoon. With the addition of the jackal agu, the work efficiency of tree cutting has doubled. Soon, the timber resources in Lin Yi's territory had accumulated to 4,000 units, which had already met the demand for upgrading the village hall to town hall. The next step is to wait for the gold coins. It was about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The sand people from the three strongholds also came to the golden oasis one after another. The wonderful scenery in the oasis made every sand citizen open their mouths. Both men and women were shocked to the extreme. It was just as the leader described to them. They came to heaven. I can't imagine that there is such a beautiful place in the desert. The golden oasis of the past was not like this. The area was far smaller than it is now, and there were no green trees or flowers everywhere. It was like the world of elves. Praise the Lord. He is a great and merciful being. Comma. There are more than 2,800 sand people in total. Placed by Lin Yi to the east of Sapphire Lake, near the livestock farm. Among them, adult sand people account for four-fifths. There are only about one-fifth of the young and old sand people. This is because the living environment of the Karar Desert is so harsh that any sand people who can live to be over 50 years old are considered favored by the goddess of luck. In addition, the fertility rate of sand people is not high. That's why there is such a ratio. But for Lin Yi, this is good news. This means more labor for him. During the process of resettling the sand people, Lin Yi also called back the royal cavalry in advance. Before officially joining the territory, he did not trust these sand people. The household cavalry regiment could be used as a deterrent. Sure enough, when they met Lin Yi's royal cavalry regiment, the sand people behaved very well and obediently. At the same time, they finally understood why their lord was able to destroy the powerful Black Wind tribe. Eventually, all the sand people joined Lin Yi's territory and became the people of Lin Yi's territory. This kind of joining is not just a matter of bowing before Lin Yi and swearing allegiance to him, but it is recognized by the Lord System. With the constraints of Lord System, the sand people will not have any possibility of rebellion. They are like the troops recruited by Lin Yi. Absolute loyalty to him. Master, have you surrendered all three sand people strongholds? The old butler Hodern also returned to the territory. When he realized that Lin Yi had recalled all the royal cavalry, he thought there was another war. Lin Yi nodded with a smile and said, With these sand people, the territory can obtain a large amount of basic resources every day, and there is no need for the royal knights to do this kind of work. Huodin looked at the sand people who were setting up living tents in the distance. These sand people seem to be in poor physical condition. It's not a big problem. Lin Yi said, It's mainly because of too little food and malnutrition. We have a large amount of monster meat in reserve, which will make them strong quickly. Hearing this, the old housekeeper who owed Dean nodded. Warcraft meat is a good thing. In the Stanlow Kingdom, it is not something ordinary civilians can afford. These sand people can eat monster meat, and there is a large supply of it. I really have to thank his young master. Lin Yi continued. Now that the sand people have settled down, I am ready to let the Royal Mounted Regiment continue to hunt until late at night. The old butler who owed Dean said, Master, then I will stay in the territory to prevent the sand people from causing chaos. Don't worry about that, Lin Yi said with a smile. You always forget that I am the messenger of the gods. The loyalty of those sand people to me now is no less than that of the dead soldiers my family has trained for many years. Hearing this, the old housekeeper who owed Dean was immediately surprised. The young master actually has such ability. No wonder that Jackal is so obedient. Huo Dean thought for a while and said, In that case, I will go hunting together. I am getting closer and closer to being promoted to a ninth level magician. He can't do it now even if he doesn't work hard. When he came back from the Black Wind tribe last night, he found that his young master had been promoted to another level. Now he is an eighth level high level professional like him. You must know that when he first came to the Golden Oasis, his young master's level was only level 3, and he almost maintained a terrifying speed of advancing to one level a day. Judging from the current situation, it would only be a matter of time before his young master's level surpassed his. But he himself had to work harder. Can't be pulled too far. Otherwise, if he encounters a more powerful enemy in the future, he will not be qualified to rush forward to share the pressure for his young master. That's fine, Lin Yi nodded and said to the old butler Huo Dean, 
Don't be too desperate, old man. You are my butler. Others will do the fighting. I understand, master. After saying that, the old butler who owed Dean went out again with his magic wand. Comma. After the old butler who owed Dean left, Lin Yi summoned the three sand people leaders. He wanted to know about the material reserves of these sand people. The leader of the sand people who had reached the fifth level said respectfully, reporting to the Lord, we have brought all the supplies for the stronghold. There are 639 moose and nearly 14,500 kilograms of corn. The main source of food for the sand people is corn. Corn is not rice, but a fruit found in the desert. It's as big as the fingernail of your little finger. After ripening, it will become very dry and hard, and contain a certain amount of toxins. It needs to be steamed or roasted over fire before it can be eaten. It tastes almost like chestnut. As for the moose, that's not the daily food of the sand people. The moose they raise must be turned over to the Black Wind tribe on a regular basis. Generally, only on special festivals can the sand people eat delicious moose meat. Normally, if they want to eat meat, they can only catch some desert animals or hunt down lone low-level monsters. In general, these sand people literally live to live. There is no word, enjoy life, in their dictionary. It's good to be full. More than 14,000 kilograms of chestnuts may seem like a lot, but this is the reserve of three sand people strongholds, and it is pitifully small when divided. These sand people rarely have enough to eat. Basically, I would go hungry for three days after eating one meal. Comma, where did you collect the corn, or did you grow it yourself? Reporting to the Lord, corn is a wild species. A leader of the sand people said, to the south, about 30 kilometers away from the golden oasis, there is a fairly vast sand forest with many corn trees in it. We also go there sometimes to herd and hunt animals. But only occasionally. That sand forest is the territory of the lizard people. The lizard people are very greedy. They occupy the central riverbed where the sand forest has the most resources and prohibit any creature from approaching. Hearing this, Lin Yi suddenly became interested. How strong are those lizard men? I don't know. The leader of the sand people shook his head and said, any sand people who encounter lizard people are basically dead. We only know that lizard people are very terrifying evil creatures. Even the jackals of the Black Wind tribe dare not provoke them easily. Yeah, Lin Yi smiled. The Black Wind tribe didn't dare to provoke them, but he did. He has already mentally listed the Lizard Man tribe as the next target for elimination. Of course, not now. One is because the distance is a bit far. The second is that they don't understand the specific strength of the Lizard tribe. Seeing that there was only half a day left in the limited time hunting mission, he couldn't waste time on it. Comma. After asking some more questions, Lin Yi said to the three leaders of the Sand People, that's it. You put the moose in the livestock farm, and you won't need to raise it in the future. In addition, go gather your people, some of them will go to the stone mountain to mine stones, and some of them will cut down the territory, of trees. The construction of resettlement sites is left to those who are not qualified for these two jobs. Lin Yi looked at the rising circular tents in the distance. You will live in the tent for now. When there is excess wood in the future, I will build wooden houses for you. The sand people's tents are also very warm, but they are a bit ugly and full of patches. Lin Yi will definitely have to replace them all in the future. Praise you, great lord. The three leaders of the sand people once again knelt down in excitement. Lin Yi took out a large number of axes, machetes, long swords and other sharp weapons from the warehouse and asked the three sand people leaders to distribute them. These equipment were all captured from the nulls. The quality is not high, but the quantity is great. It comes in handy now. Soon the sand people got to work. More than 2,000 people participated. If you are stronger, head to Stone Mountain to mine stones. Others cut down trees on their property. The sand people are not very enthusiastic about the task of cutting down trees, because every falling tree makes them feel distressed. However, this is the order of the Lord, and they can only carry it out. Of course, it doesn't matter. Lin Yi only cares about the final result. Seeing the sand people working enthusiastically in the territory, Lin Yi was full of expectations for the future of the territory. With the addition of Sha Min, Lin Yi is completely liberated. There is no need to cut down the tree yourself. When he was free, he came to the resettlement place of the sand people. 
The ones left now are basically the elderly and children, as well as some pregnant sand people women. Seeing Lin Yi, everyone looked at him with awe and gratitude. Many people knelt down and worshipped Lin Yi. When they were at the stronghold, all their efforts were to survive. But after coming to Golden Oasis they had one more thing in their hearts, and that was hope, hope for the future, which was given to them by Lin Yi. Sandfolk children mature precociously. He became sensible at the age of three or four and could help with household chores. Unlike Lin Yi's predecessor, he didn't start polishing his body until he was ten years old. At this age, Sha Min has even married a wife, had children, and shouldered the burden of the family. This is caused by different living environments. Along the way, Lin Yi learned a lot about the customs and customs of the Sha people, which gave him a lot of experience. But there were two things that made it difficult for him to accept. First, the women of the sand people like to bare their breasts. Especially the pregnant sand people women, who don't even wear tops. This kind of situation is absolutely not seen in the kingdom of Stanlow. No matter the common people or the noble women, they all wrap themselves up tightly. Only on certain special occasions can you see a different kind of beauty. Comma. Lin Yi did not stay at the resettlement place for long. Mainly because the eyes of the sand people women were too eager. Not only was there awe and gratitude, there was also some primitive desire mixed in with it. He had reason to suspect that if there was no deterrent from the identity of the Lord, the sand people women would drag him directly into the tent. After returning to the village hall, Lin Yi said to himself, this custom must be modified. How can I not wear clothes? When the three sand people leaders come back from work in the evening, be sure to have a good talk with them. I have a large supply of wolf skins in my warehouse. There's no shortage of materials to make clothes. There is also the issue of bathing. He learned that sand people only bathe three times in their lives. At birth, at marriage, and at death. During other periods of time, the sand people not only do not bathe, but also smear a special oily substance on their bodies, which can help them insulate their skin from harm caused by the hot desert light, and also has the effect of driving away poisonous insects. The more you apply, the better the effect. The disadvantage is that it smells really bad. Lin Yi didn't pay special attention when he met the three desert leaders. He almost fainted from the smoke after walking around the place where the sand people were resettled. Comma, time passed quickly and it was night in a blink of an eye. The sand people's work is also over. In just one afternoon, mountains of wood and stone were piled on the training square of the Royal Knights, totaling more than 40,000 units. The largest amount of wood is nearly 30,000 units. There are also more than 10,000 units of stone. Sure enough, things get done easily when there are many people. Even if the Royal Knights in the territory were to work for several days, it would be difficult to collect so many supplies. Lin Yi immediately summoned the three sand people leaders. I can see you guys are working very hard. But, Lin Yi brought up his discovery in the afternoon and finally said, the problems of clothes and bathing must be solved. I will give you a batch of wolf skins later to sew clothes. As for taking a bath, you can chop some wood to make a bathtub. Remember, sewage must not be poured into the lake. Pour as far as you can. It is best to pour it into the yellow sand area outside the woods. Does anyone object to the two points I mentioned? The three sand people leaders shook their heads in unison. Whoever objects is a fool. The Lord's attitude is very determined. If they dare to object and the Lord cannot solve the problem, then the Lord will definitely solve them in the next second. Very good. Lin Yi nodded with satisfaction. Then he led the three sand people leaders to the vicinity of the warehouse. With a thought, Piles of desert coyote meat and wolf skin suddenly appeared out of thin air. This wolf meat is your dinner. Everyone needs to eat enough. Only when they are full can they have the strength to work tomorrow. Praise the Lord. The three sand people leaders immediately knelt down in front of Lin Yi with great excitement. They were moved to tears. For their tribesmen, the word, eating full, is very luxurious. This alone is enough for them to dedicate everything to Lin Yi, even their lives. Comma, finished dealing with the sand people. Lin Yi also took a comfortable bath under Sally's care. Then start enjoying dinner. His dinner was far richer than that of the sand people. The native lake fish in the sapphire lake, the white bread brought from Stanlow Kingdom, the drink with honey, and a few fragrant red dragon fruits. 
This is his privilege as a lord, and of course he has a beautiful little maid by his side. Lin Yi looked up at the maid Sally who was dining with him and asked, How was your practice today? Wu, Sally quickly put down the silver fork in her hand. The tableware used by both of them to eat was all silverware, which was very valuable. The little maid said happily, Master, I successfully sensed the elemental magic floating between heaven and earth, but there is something strange. The elemental magic is not fiery red, but purple. Purple, yeah, there's also white, which is relatively rare. Lin Yi said, So, you should have a dual element talent. Are there any obvious characteristics of the purple element and the white element? Maid Sally said, The purple elemental magic has lightning marks, and the white elemental magic looks like pieces of snowflakes. Thunder and frost elements, Lin Yi couldn't help but reached out and pinched Sally's delicate and beautiful cheeks, and said with a smile, You are really amazing. Talents in these two elements are relatively rare, especially the thunder element. Sally said with a smile, The young master is the most powerful, the young master is the one given by God. That is required, Lin Yi grinned. Then he said, You should concentrate on meditating and improving your professional level during this period. When I reveal the thunder or frost magic skill book, you can go hunting with the core. Okay, master. Sally nodded her head obediently. Comma. Late at night, the Royal Cavalry Regiment who went out for hunting finally returned to the Golden Oasis. Also accompanying him was the old butler who owed Dean. You can tell by the smile on his face that it was a worthwhile trip. Master, I've been promoted. Now he is a ninth level high level magician. The old housekeeper said to Lin Yi very excitedly. A ninth level magician is already considered the pinnacle of ordinary professionals. Congratulations. Lin Yi was also very happy and asked, How many gold coins did you get this time? The old butler who owed Dean immediately took out the loot, and a pile of golden lord gold coins was piled in front of Lin Yi. A pile of gold coins. Quantity. 1507. Comma. Enough. Lin Yi took away the pile of gold coins and checked the total gold coin reserves. A total of 3,728 pieces. Both requirements for upgrading town hall have been completed. Lin Yi immediately arrived near the village hall. Upgrade village hall to town hall at the cost of consuming 3,000 gold coins and 3,000 units of wood. Soon, bright golden light fell from the sky. Covered the entire golden oasis. Everything is changing. The trees are growing rapidly, the ground is expanding. The green earth seemed to be alive, swallowing up the surrounding sand dunes one after another. The most peculiar thing is that the area of Sapphire Lake has also expanded. The widest part before was only about 2 to 300 meters, but now it has increased to more than a thousand meters, and the area has expanded many times. This means Sapphire Lake has more water. Even if Lin Yi has more than 2,000 sand people under his command, plus a total of more than 1,000 desert coyotes and moose, there is no need to worry about insufficient water sources. On the sparkling lake surface, groups of silver-tailed fish are jumping out of the water, outlining wisps of silver light in the midair. There are also a large number of native lake fish surging in the lake. Even more pearls light up at the bottom of the lake. Like a pearl, this situation is so beautiful and picturesque. On the other side of Sapphire Lake, more than 2,000 sand people knelt down and worshipped on the ground. The changes in the Golden Oasis were regarded as a miracle by them. They further believed that Lin Yi was the messenger of God and possessed the power given by God. They praised Lin Yi enthusiastically. Praise this paradise-like land. Comma. Congratulations, you have successfully upgraded the village hall, the core building of your territory, to a town hall. Closing square bracket. You have completed the main mission. Closing square bracket. You receive a mission reward, a random lord talent. Closing square bracket. Congratulations, you have obtained the lord talent, awakening of ancient bloodline. Comma. You successfully started a new main quest. Closing square bracket. Main mission. Improve the level of the core building and upgrade it to a town hall. Task reward. Randomly obtain a lord talent. Closing square bracket. Congratulations, your side quest has been refreshed. Closing square bracket. Side mission 1. Destroy or conquer the Lizardman tribe occupying the distant sand forest. Closing square bracket. Task reward. 1000 gold coins, a random building drawing. Comma. 
Side Mission 2. Own three high-level territory buildings different types. Task Reward. 500 Gold Coins, a bottle of Animal Rapid Growth Potion. Comma. Special Mission. Form a regular arms army with a size of 1,000 people. The average level of the army is not low level 5. Closing square bracket. Task Reward. The Lord level increases by one level, the upper limit does not exceed the King level peak. Comma. A series of information prompts appeared in Lin Yi's mind. After reading them one by one, he quickly checked his new Lord Talent. Lord Talent Awakening of Ancient Bloodline. Level. Epic. Talent Information. When you recruit any unit, you have a chance to recruit the same type of unit with higher potential and stronger combat effectiveness. Closing square bracket. Recruit special troops. It looks good, but I don't know if the probability is high. But thinking about it, after all, the probability of having an epic talent is low, but it won't be that low. Lin Yi planned to test it after 12 o'clock. See if you can recruit the special forces from the Royal Knights. Then he opened the information template of Town Hall. Town Hall. Level. Low level. Unlock buildings. Fences. Houses. Arrow towers. Markets. Next level. Middle level Town Hall. Upgrade requirements. 5,000 units of wood. 5,000 units of stone. 5,000 gold coins. Comma. Updated two buildings. The previous fence was upgraded to a fence. But this thing is of little use for the time being. After all, the number of monsters in the desert is far less than that of the forest of life. After the city wall is unlocked or the city wall drawings are revealed, we can consider building it. The market is newly unlocked. Lin Yi checked the market information. Territory basic building. Market. Building information. The emergence of the market can make your territory more prosperous, and the people under your command can trade materials with each other in the market. Closing square bracket. Construction requirements. 2,000 units of wood, 500 units of stone. Special reminder. When you own a main city, you can create your own currency, circulate in the market, and collect taxes. Closing square bracket. Special reminder 2. The emergence of the market has a probability of attracting passing merchants and refugees to your territory. Closing square bracket. Comma. This stuff is good. After thinking for a moment, Lin Yi found an open space near the resettlement site of the Sand Residence and built the market. Market. Level. Low level. Have vacant shops. 10. Capacity for number of traders. 1,000. Tax rate. 5%. Special reminder. Shops in the market can be sold or rented. Upgrading the level of the market can increase the number of shops, increase tax rates, etc. Closing square bracket. Next level. Middle level market. Upgrade requirements. 20,000 units of wood and 5,000 units of stone. Comma. Really not bad. Lin Yi built the market firstly because the territory's current resources are very abundant, and secondly, to attract passing caravans and nearby refugees, sand people. Unexpectedly, there are actually shops for sale or lease in the market. This gave him a small surprise. These shops may not be of much use now and cannot be sold, but that will be different in the future. Lin Yi never planned to keep those sand people forever. The sand people are now eating from a big pot. All were loyal to him. Work together to serve him. It seems like the territory is developing rapidly, but that's only for now. Later, when he has tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of citizens, big pot rice will no longer work. It must be undone. Let the sand people move towards a family-oriented society through their own work. Have your own small home and your own assets. They will work harder. At that time, as the Lord, he can start to implement taxation and other policies. At the same time, the territory composed of countless small families will become more prosperous, and the level of civilization will also rise accordingly, and then form a kingdom. In the process of social transformation, territory buildings such as markets, shops, etc. are naturally necessary can quickly increase the territory's economy. Comma. Lin Yi looked at the two newly refreshed side tasks. Side Mission 2 is the easiest to complete, it has three different types of high-level territory buildings. He took the lead in setting his sights on the residences and arrow towers in the territory. The existing three residential buildings and five arrow towers are all low-level. 
low-level residential house it only takes 200 units of wood to upgrade to middle level. Aero tower upgrading to middle level only requires 300 units of wood and 100 units of stone. This little resource is just a drop in the bucket for Lin Yi. He upgraded all three residences and five aero towers to the middle level at one time, and then selected one of them to upgrade it to a high-level territory building. At this point, Lin Yi only needs one more high-level building of a different type to complete this task. He thought for a moment and chose to upgrade Livestock Farm. Livestock Farm can improve the fertility and growth rate of livestock, and has a higher probability of helping livestock achieve bloodline evolution, which is very useful. Soon, after consuming 5,000 units of wood, the livestock farm was upgraded to the middle level. Livestock farm. Level. Middle level. Building information. You can raise various livestock in the livestock farm, including riding pets and magical beasts. Closing square bracket. Building effect. The fertility of livestock is increased by five times, the growth cycle is shortened proportionally, and there is a lower probability of achieving bloodline evolution. Closing square bracket. Next level. High level livestock farm. Upgrade requirements. 50,000 units of wood. Special reminder. Improving the level of the livestock farm can increase the probability of livestock bloodline evolution. Closing square bracket. Comma. Upgrading to high level will consume 10 times more wood. However, after my territory was upgraded to a town, there will be more trees. Let the sand people work hard tomorrow. It will not be difficult to gather 50,000 units of wood. If nothing else goes wrong, he will be able to own three high-level buildings tomorrow and complete the second side mission. Looking at the time, it's almost 12 o'clock. As soon as 12 o'clock passes, the Royal Knights of the New Day can be recruited. Just when Lin Yi was waiting for a new day to come. There is a camp stationed about 30 kilometers away from the Golden Oasis. Several tents were set up in the camp. There were bright bonfires lit around each tent. The flames can disperse nearby desert beasts to a certain extent. In addition, there are a dozen heavily armed swordsmen taking turns keeping vigil around the camp. Beside the bonfire in the center, there was a woman and an old man sitting. The old man is dressed as a magician. The woman wore a thick fur coat, covering herself tightly, leaving only a fairly delicate cheek and a head of dark red wavy hair exposed. Miss, we don't have much water to carry. However, we will arrive at the Golden Oasis soon. We can continue on the road after replenishing our supplies. I see. The woman nodded. The expression on his face didn't look so happy. Master Simon, it's been a week since we entered the Karar Desert. When will we arrive at Bastion City? If everything goes well, we'll be there in another half month. Half a month, the woman said helplessly. I don't want to stay in this place for a moment longer. The old mage Simon also twitched his lips when he heard this. The Karar Desert is a harsh environment. Looking around, there is yellow sand everywhere. It's hot as hell during the day. It gets so cold at night that water can freeze into ice. At noon, their team was unlucky enough to encounter a small sandstorm. Although the goods being escorted were not damaged, each one of them also suffered from the same crime. He didn't want to come to this hellish place if he didn't have to. Drink sweet fruit wine in the scenic forest city, enjoy the beautiful songs of natural elves, and occasionally see the snow-white and holy figure of a unicorn. Isn't this delicious? The old mage Simon said, please bear with it a little longer. As long as we can successfully complete this trade, we can get the union brand and create a trade route that belongs to us. By then, our chamber of commerce will also be on track. Hope so, the woman prayed. Then he stood up, said to the old mage Simon, I'm going to rest, and returned to his tent. Take off your heavy fur coat. A perfectly curvy figure suddenly appeared. After a simple wash, the cheeks that could only be described as relatively delicate instantly became extremely beautiful. Especially those blue eyes, as pure as gems. Comma. Outside the tent, the old mage Simon called a swordsman to lead the team and said, we will rush to the Golden Oasis early tomorrow morning. It is said that groups of grey wolves and jackals often appear nearby. Everyone should be careful. I understand, Lord Simon. We'll pay attention. The swordsman captain nodded solemnly. Then he smiled and said, With Lord Simon's strength as a king-level magician, even the jackal cavalry legion would not dare to approach our caravan easily. 
You never go too far wrong. The old mage Simon said. The Karar Desert is a restricted area of life. The great saint who controlled the power of the domain also died here, let alone me, a little king-level mage. Clear, the swordsman captain quickly cheered up. He just complimented the old mage. In fact, he is also very aware of the dangers of the Karar Desert. After all, this place is known as the place where gods fell. Comma, this is the golden oasis. After a not too long wait, the time finally came to past 12 o'clock. However, Lin Yi did not immediately recruit the royal knights of the New Day, but first received the reward of the restricted hunting mission. After these two days of hunting and the annihilation of the Black Wind tribe, the accumulated gold coin rewards of the restricted hunting mission have reached 6,359 gold coins. That's a lot of money. Coupled with the remaining Lord Gold Coins in Lin Yi's hand, his gold coin reserves exceeded 7,000 for the first time. There was nothing to think about. As soon as he got the gold coins, Lin Yi opened the upgrade option of Royal Knight Training Ground and upgraded the level of this military building. Royal Knight Training Ground. Level. Level 4. Recruitable Troops. Royal Knights. Recruitment Quantity. 100 Royal Knights can be recruited every day. Closing square bracket. Upgrade requirements. 10,000 gold coins. Special reminder 1. Upgrade the level of the military building to recruit more military units. Closing square bracket. Special reminder 2. The Royal Knight is a cavalry unit. Equipping it with suitable riding pets can greatly improve the Royal Knight's combat effectiveness. Closing square bracket. Comma. After level 4, you can recruit 100 Royal Knights every day. It's not in vain that I spent a whole 5,000 gold coins. Lin Yi sighed as he looked at the Royal Knight's training ground, which was larger and more magnificent in appearance. He was a little distressed to spend 5,000 gold coins all at once. But the result did not disappoint him. Then he came to the training square and recruited the Royal Knights of the New Day. I saw a bright golden light sweeping past. A team of fully armed knights suddenly appeared on the wide training square, all of them had solemn expressions and exuded strong fighting spirit. Just at this time, a message prompt appeared in Lin Yi's mind. Congratulations, you triggered the Lord Talent, awakening of ancient bloodline in the process of recruiting troops. A total of 15 royal knights have evolved and become royal holy knights. Closing square bracket. Swear loyalty to the great Lord. As he spoke, the fifteen royal holy knights appeared in front of Lin Yi and knelt down towards Lin Yi with an extremely fanatical attitude. The other royal knights stood behind them. There is a clear line in between. Like class distinctions. Very well, everyone, get up. Lin Yi raised his hand. At the same time, he looked at the royal holy knights in front of him. Although the knight armors they wore were also silver white, there was a golden cloak on their backs, and the knight swords in their hands also turned golden, as if they were made of gold. This makes them look more powerful. There is even a sense of sacredness. Comma. Royal Holy Knight. Grade. High level arms. Initial level. Level 7. Growth potential. Transcendent entry level. Characteristics. Loyalty, bravery and fearlessness. Comma. It actually became a high level soldier. The initial level is 7, and the growth potential has reached the transcendent level. Every aspect is one level higher than the Royal Knights. Lin Yi suddenly felt that his new Lord Talent was quite awesome. The key is that the probability of troop evolution is not low. Recruit 100 Royal Knights and prostitute 15 higher level Royal Holy Knights for free. This probability has exceeded Lin Yi's expectation. After settling down the newly summoned knight, Lin Yi took out a drawing from the space bag he carried. This is the architectural drawing of Elf Fountain. Construction requires 1,000 gold coins and 500 units of stone. Before, he was short of stones and even more gold coins. Now, not much of a problem. After upgrading the Royal Knight Training Ground, he still had more than 2,000 gold coins left. As for stone materials, there are more than 10,000 units in reserve. Not bad at all. Comma. Lin Yi immediately came to the vicinity of the town hall and found an open space to build the Elf Spring. Elf Spring looks like an ancient well. About two meters square. The well is filled with milky white liquid. This thing is fairy spring water, a magic potion second only to the water of life. 
Not only can it quickly recover from injuries, but it is also very helpful for spiritual practice and physical enhancement. Elf Fountain. Level. Low level. Building information. Contains a steady stream of fairy spring water, and always exudes the magic of nature and life, improving the surrounding environment. Practicing near the fairy spring can get twice the result with half the effort. Closing square bracket. Next level. Middle level fairy fountain. Upgrade requirements. 10,000 gold coins, 5,000 units of stone. Special reminder. When the fairy spring reaches full level, it can breed water of life. Closing square bracket. Comma. After reaching full level, you can actually breed the water of life. This surprised Lin Yi very much. The water of life is a recognized treasure in the holy continent. Only the nature elves have it. It is very difficult for other races or forces to obtain water of life and they need to pay a huge price to do so. As far as Lin Yi knows, in the royal capital of Stanlo Kingdom, the price of a bottle of water of life is at least 100,000 gold coins. And they are often marketable but priceless. If he could produce water of life, he would definitely make a fortune. Even if it takes 10 local gold coins to exchange for one lord's gold coin, he can still count the money until his hands cramp. As for whether it will offend the nature elves, that is a small matter. It's just that the upgrade requirements are ridiculously high. Similar to the Altar of Luck, just upgrading to the middle level requires a full 10,000 gold coins and 5,000 units of stone. For Lin Yi, stones are nothing. Gold coins are a big problem. What Lord Lin lacks most now is gold coins. I don't want to think about this for the moment. Lin Yi called the old housekeeper who Odin and the maid Sally over, told them the use of elf spring, and then said, from now on, the elf spring water will be our daily drinking water. The household cavalry can also carry some when they go hunting. Fairy Fountain. The old butler who Odin walked to the ancient well with excitement on his face. He took a cup of spring water. As soon as he took the first sip, the old butler showed an expression of disbelief on his face and said in shock, it's really the fairy spring, exactly the same as what I drank back then. Lin Yi asked, have you always drank elf spring water? Yes, master, the old butler who Odin said, that happened many years ago. When I was studying magic runes, I had an accident, which caused severe physical injuries. The earl sent someone to the capital of the kingdom of Stanlo and bought a bottle of elven spring water at a high price. Without the help of that bottle of fairy spring water, even if I hadn't died at that time, I probably wouldn't have been able to contact the mysterious magical world again. Praise be to the kind and generous Lord Count. After a pause, the old butler who Odin said to Lin Yi, elf spring water is said to be diluted water of life. Although the effect is far less than the real water of life, the price is also very high. A bottle is worth thousands of gold coins. The young master's fairy spring water seems not as pure as the water I drank before, but there is still no problem in selling a bottle for a thousand gold coins. The key is, the young master actually has a whole well here. Holden was excited. Lin Yi also took a breath. Five big words came to mind at the same time, he was going to get rich. He doesn't just have a well here, but an endless stream of fairy spring water. With the help of this elf fountain, he will definitely be able to earn astonishing wealth. No wonder you can breed the water of life after reaching full level. It turns out that the fairy spring water is the product of dilution of the water of life. Think about it, by raising the level of the fairy spring, you can increase the content of the water of life in it. Until it reaches the full level, the real water of life can be produced. Lin Yi said to the old butler who Odin. It seems that we need to find a way to build a golden trade route to the kingdom of Stanlo or the kingdom of the Sand People. The old butler who Odin advised, Master, our territory is not strong enough to form a caravan that can cross the forest of life. When a king level or transcendent expert is born under your command, there should be no problem. What you said makes sense. Lin Yi nodded. Naturally, he would not rush to form a caravan now. To avoid accidents on the way, resulting in loss of life and money. For now, his territory still needs to focus on developing steadily and increasing the size of his army. However, neither of them knew that a caravan was already planning to come to the Golden Oasis. Lin Yi said, I have just recruited another hundred royal knights, including a group of royal holy knights with high potential. Starting tomorrow, 
we will expand the scope of our hunting. The main hunting direction is the sand forest area occupied by the Lizardman tribe. The old butler who Odin asked, Master, are you planning to kill the lizard people there? Lin Yi nodded slightly and said, The resources of the Karar Desert are poor. If you want to quickly develop your territory, the most efficient method is war. If we face an enemy that is weaker than us, then we will directly conquer it. If the enemy is stronger than us, then let's develop for a while first and then conquer. These words made the old housekeeper's face twitch. Ever since he came to the Golden Oasis and established his territory, his young master seemed to have become a completely different person. The desire for war and aggression became extremely strong. It felt to him as if every dog passing by had to be slapped a few times. After the upgrade, the town hall has a grand feeling. It is no longer a wooden structure, but is made of large bluestones. Every big bluestone is as smooth as a mirror. There seem to be mysterious runes engraved on it. Lin Yi tried it, and a fireball hit it without even leaving a trace, which shows how high its defense is. However, defense is not of much use to the core building. It seems classy enough. The backyard building of the town hall has also become more exquisite. In addition to the bedrooms, there are several more small rooms, a second bedroom, and a kitchen. There is also a small courtyard. Lin Yi plans to make a recliner when she has time. Transplant another big tree. In your spare time, you can lie down in the shade of a tree and rest. As a lord, he still has a lot of free time. Comma. As usual, he spent the knots a long desert night with his soft, tender little maid Sally in his arms. Early the next morning, Lin Yi woke up from a fragrant dream. The sand people have started a new day's work. Most of it is felling timber. A small number went to Stone Mountain to quarry stones. As the territory was upgraded to a small town and the area expanded again, the outermost woods were getting closer and closer to the rocky mountains several kilometers away, with a distance of only about a thousand meters. If nothing unexpected happens, with just one or two more upgrades, the Rocky Mountains will be wrapped in woods. Then it became the exclusive mineral resource of Lin Yi's territory. After eating the breakfast carefully prepared by the maid Sally, Lin Yi took another look at his iron mine. The location of the iron ore was originally a sand dune, but was later swallowed up by green plants, revealing some black crystal-like iron ore. After the territory was upgraded, the area of this highland became larger. The height has also increased a lot. Gradually it has the momentum to become a mountain. Perhaps as the level of the territory continues to improve, it may become a big mountain in the future, a big mountain rich in high-quality iron ore. Because at this moment, there is more exposed iron ore. And there is a lot of iron ore underground. Although it still hasn't reached mining standards, Lin Yi knows it's only a matter of time. By then, his realm would have become richer. Whether it is for crafting equipment or upgrading special buildings in the territory, I believe there will be no shortage of refined iron. Comma. The time came to noon. A pale golden light suddenly came and enveloped Lin Yi's body. His level has been promoted again. Just like what the old butler Huo Dean thought, Lin Yi was promoted to a level every day, and the promotion speed was terrifyingly fast. His front foot is worthy of being promoted to level 9. Lin Yi caught up with him on the back foot. And if nothing unexpected happens, Lin Yi will most likely become a king-level professional before him. Because the experience Lin Yi shares from the soldiers every day is far more than the experience he gains from hunting alone. This is the benefit of expanding the size of the military legion. The number of troops increased. You can hunt more monsters. As the leader, Lin Yi has shared even greater experience. Not long after Lin Yi's level was promoted to level 9, a caravan from afar finally arrived near Shishan. However, before the caravan met the sand people who were mining stone, they were surrounded by a group of heavily armed royal knights. Fifteen royal holy inquisition knights, leading a large group of royal knights, surrounded the caravan tightly on three levels inside and three outside. There were hundreds of desert coyotes roaring outside. Bloodthirsty eyes stared at everyone in the caravan. At this scene, even the old king-level mage known as Lord Simon couldn't help but burst into tears. Although he is a king-level expert and his level is arrogant to everyone, but as a magician, he is still doomed when surrounded by so many fully armed knights and monsters. To put it bluntly, a collective charge of these knights can defeat their entire caravan. 
His magic shield can only last for five seconds at most. What happened? How come there are so many elite human knights in this area? What are they doing here in this barren Karar desert? Old Master Simon was puzzled. Standing next to him, the woman with dark red wavy hair also had a look of surprise on her face, not sure what the purpose of these knights was in this area. However, her main concern now is the safety of the caravan. Afraid that these elite knights would not respect martial ethics, they charged and destroyed her caravan. At this time, as the strongest man in the caravan, Old Master Simon stood up. Your Excellencies, Knights, we are a regular caravan from Forest City, preparing to go to Bastion City to make deals with the Sand People nobles. Passing through the Golden Oasis, I plan to get some water. I wonder why you knights want to intercept us. If our caravan accidentally breaks into the temporary control area, we can retreat immediately. He behaved very humbly and politely. I don't want to cause friction with this elite cavalry regiment of unknown origin. A royal holy knight walked out. He rides on the back of a level 6 desert coyote. This desert coyote is more than 2 meters long. In the desert coyote family, this size is already quite large. But paired with the burly royal holy knight, it still feels uncoordinated. The royal holy inquisitor knight said in a slightly cold voice, the golden oasis is my lord's territory, and caravans that trespass must be inspected. Hearing this, old master Simon's expression suddenly changed. The woman next to him also had an ugly expression. What does this need to check? Not to mention they were regular caravans, even if they were smugglers, there was no routine inspection after entering the Karar Desert. Most of this desert is a three-nothing zone. They had reason to suspect that this group of knights wanted to rob or extort in the name of inspection. The woman couldn't help but said, Our caravan is protected by the Forest City Merchants Union, you have no rights. Clang, clang, clang. There was a neat sound of gold and iron clashing. Without saying a word, the royal knights drew their swords. The desert coyote under their seat also let out a man-hungry growl. This scene immediately made the people in the caravan feel like they were facing a formidable enemy. Especially the swordsmen, all of them looked frightened. Etc., etc. Old Master Simon was also so frightened that he quickly came out to smooth things over. If a war breaks out, his life may be at risk. At this moment, a figure wearing a magic robe walked over, it was Lin Yi's old housekeeper Huo Dean. He glanced at Master Simon who was sweating profusely. He turned his attention to the woman again. The Lord has an order to take them to the Golden Oasis. Follow the Lord's will. The royal knights immediately moved out of the way. The old butler who Odin said with a smile on his face, Everyone, please. The woman and Master Simon looked at each other. In the end, I had no choice but to bow my head. If they obey and go to the Golden Oasis, they might have a chance to escape unscathed. If they refuse, these knights will definitely attack them directly. When passing through the Rocky Mountain, the caravan group encountered a large number of sand people mining stone. The woman observed carefully for a moment, and then whispered to the old mage Simon beside her, these sand people are obviously working for the Lord. Although their physical fitness is not high, their mental outlook is very good, which shows that they are not enslaved. Master Simon nodded and said, the eldest lady has observed carefully. It seems that the Lord is not an evil person. This is good news for us. Soon, the group followed the royal knights into the dense forest area. The surging breath of life. It's hard to imagine this as the Karar Desert. If it weren't for the dust in the sky behind us, I would have suspected that we had returned to the forest of life. Listening to the eldest lady's exclamation, old master Simon looked like he had seen a ghost and said, when I passed the golden oasis last year, this forest did not exist yet. The entire golden oasis is only a few hundred meters across. And now, I'm afraid it's thousands of meters away. There must be an extremely powerful magician who transformed the golden oasis. With this level of power, the minimum is a saint. Hearing this, the woman suddenly took a breath of air. I'm glad I didn't resist just now, otherwise I wouldn't know how I died. Comma. After passing the woods, the view suddenly opened up. The beautiful mirror like Sapphire Lake flat green grass, thriving date palm trees and giant pillars, a vast orchard of Mo Yuan Guo. This situation and scene can be called a wonderful scene in a painting. Let everyone in the caravan feel relaxed and happy. 
The woman's blue eyes shone brightly, and she exclaimed in admiration, It's unbelievable, the rumored golden oasis is so beautiful. It wasn't like this before. Old Master Simon shook his head. The last time he came to the golden oasis, it was just an ordinary oasis. The beautiful scenery in front of you must be the work of that mysterious lord. Looking at the sapphire lake that had obviously expanded many times, Master Simon was even more convinced that the Lord was a great saint who controlled the power of the domain. Comma. Not long after, the woman and Master Simon were taken directly into the town hall. The goods in the caravan and a dozen swordsmen were placed in the training square. With the royal knights guarding them, they didn't dare to move. In the gorgeously decorated town hall, Lin Yi sat on the big chair at the top, while the woman and Master Simon stood in the hall, looking up at Lin Yi. Through the introduction of the old butler Huo Dean, they have learned that Lin Yi is the lord of the Golden Oasis. This surprised them a little, because they discovered that Lin Yi was only a ninth-level professional. He has not even entered the king-level realm. However, they did not dare to underestimate him in the slightest. Although Lin Yi is not saint, they believe that, saint, must be standing behind Lin Yi. Dear Lord, the woman saluted Lin Yi and introduced herself. I am Sophia, the president of the Crystal Chamber of Commerce. It is my honor to meet you in this beautiful golden oasis. This is Master Simon, my Chamber of Commerce steward. As she spoke, she took off the hat that was used to block the wind and sand. A head of dark red wavy hair falls like a waterfall. Although there was a touch of dust on her face, it could not hide the delicacy of her cheeks, especially her big sapphire blue eyes, which were very beautiful, just like the sapphire lake dotted in the golden oasis. Unfortunately, it was wrapped too tightly and I couldn't see my figure under the dress. Of course, Lin Yi didn't pay attention to these. There was a smile on his face. Yesterday, he was still talking about making money from Elf Spring but today a caravan actually came to his territory. There is really a feeling that whatever you want comes to you. I don't know if his new market played a role. Lin Yi smiled and said, Miss Sophia, I heard that you are from Forest City. Yes, Lord Lord, Sophia said, the Forest City stands in the beautiful forest of life. It was built by the natural elves. It is a prosperous trade center where all forces gather. These various forces refer to various human kingdoms, even sand people kingdoms, alien kingdoms, etc. There are chambers of commerce stationed in Forest City. Sophia comes from one of the human kingdoms, the Ye Free Alliance. Ye Free Alliance is located in the northeast of the Forest of Life, bordering the Stanlow Kingdom where the Tulip family is located. If the Forest of Life is regarded as the central point, then to the north is the Ultra Ice Wasteland, to the northeast is the Ye Free Alliance, to the southeast is the Kingdom of Stanlow, and to the west is the vast Karar Desert. There is also an area in the northwest that is in contact with the Orc Prairie. Lin Yi nodded slightly. He was very interested in this forest city. It's a great place to make a fortune. Lin Yi looked at the tall Sophia and said, The scale of your crystal chamber of commerce does not seem to be large. Hearing this, Sophia replied confidently, Replying to the Lord, We are about to go to Vastian City to trade with a sand people noble. As long as this trade route can be opened, I believe that my chamber of commerce will soon grow. Lin Yi asked, What materials are you trading? Master Simon was just about to speak. Sophia replied, Gold and silverware, fruit wine, and fine fabrics are very popular among the nobles in the Sand People Kingdom. When these supplies are sold out, we will bring back spices, oasis gems, and gobi pearls from the Sand People Kingdom. Wait for the goods and continue selling them in Forest City. As long as this trade can be completed smoothly, her crystal merchant guild will surely make a lot of money. Mage Simon on the side had his mouth twitching. The eldest lady revealed everything about their caravan. He is not afraid that the lord in front of him has evil intentions. At this time, he heard Lin Yi, who was sitting in the big chair, said, You don't have to go to Vastian City. I plan to make a deal with you. Sophia suddenly smiled, obviously mentally prepared. Sure enough, the Lord did not, invite, them into the Golden Oasis for no reason. I wonder what the specific transaction the Lord is talking about is. If the Lord also likes the goods carried by our caravan, I can sell them to you at a low price. The Golden Oasis is not far from the Forest City. It doesn't matter if she makes less. Lin Yi said, 
I'm not interested in your goods. I have some things here for sale. As he spoke, a bright red fruit appeared in his hand and he threw it to Sophia. Sophia raised her hand to catch it. This is the red dragon fruit, a low-level demonic yuan fruit. As she spoke, she picked up the red dragon fruit and took a bite. After tasting it carefully, she said, it tastes fresh and sweet, melts in your mouth, and has a high level of magic power. It is of high quality. A red dragon fruit of this quality can be sold for 10 gold coins each in Forest City. If the operation is better, the price can increase by 30%. That's about 10 to 13 gold coins for one red dragon fruit. Lin Yi has nearly 6,000 kilograms of red dragon fruits in his hand, more than 14,000 of them, which can be sold for more than 100,000 gold coins. There were more than 10,000 Lord Gold Coins exchanged. This makes Lin Yi very happy. It's just part of the deal. Lin Yi nodded towards the old butler Huo Din who was standing in the hall. The old housekeeper understood what his young master meant, and took out a bottle filled with milky white liquid from the space bag he carried and handed it to Sophia's hand. Sophia opened the cap of the bottle and smelled it with the tip of her nose. Immediately, a look of surprise appeared on her delicate cheeks. Lord, is this fairy spring water? Good, Lin Yi nodded. Sophia immediately asked. Lord, although this is elf spring water with a purity of low level, a bottle like this can be sold for thousands of gold coins in the forest city. I wonder how many lords there are here. However, Lin Yi did not explain much and waved to a group of royal knights, asking them to go to the woods not far away to cut down trees and make large wooden barrels. After a long time, made of large wooden barrels. When it was carried over by the royal knights, it was already filled with elven spring water that exuded a strong breath of life. A rough estimate is at least several thousand bottles. Oh my god, so many fairy springs. Sophia and the old mage Simon were both shocked. This was the first time they had seen someone use a wooden barrel with a diameter of several meters to hold the fairy spring water. It felt like a waste of natural resources. Sophia suppressed her inner shock and looked at Lin Yi. As the lord planning to sell all this barrel, this large barrel of elf spring water to our crystal merchant guild. Lin Yi smiled and asked, can you afford it? This. Sophia suddenly looked embarrassed. She really couldn't afford it. The funds from the Crystal Chamber of Commerce have been used to purchase goods. Her pocket is cleaner than her face. To say the least, even if her Chamber of Commerce funds were still there, she couldn't afford so much fairy spring water. She roughly estimated that this barrel of fairy spring water was worth at least millions of gold coins. Sophia asked cautiously, What does the Lord mean? Lin Yi said, you help me bring these fairy spring waters to Forest City and sell them, and I will give you a 3% commission. Would a 3% commission be too? Lo. Lin Yi looked at Sophia with a full smile. For some reason, Sophia immediately gave up the idea of bargaining and said, This is a very considerable reward, Lord Lord. It's good to know, Lin Yi said. In that case, just pretend. Sophia was stunned and said, Lord, don't we need to sign a contract? Lin Yi smiled lightly and said, is that thing useful? In the face of the temptation of high enough interests, let alone a contract, brothers may turn against each other. Sophia also thinks what Lin Yi said makes sense. She immediately took out a dozen large barrels from her space equipment, which were filled with high-quality fruit wine, which she planned to take to Bastion City and sell to the Sand People nobles. Lord, my space equipment can't be loaded. I wonder if you need these fruit wines. On behalf of the Crystal Chamber of Commerce, I will give you the territory for free. You are quite good at business. Lin Yi smiled and asked the Royal Knights to deliver the batch of fruit wine to the territory warehouse. It just so happened that his territory also lacked this kind of thing. As for Sophia, she carefully put the large wooden barrel filled with elven spring water into the space equipment. She had to be careful. This is goods worth millions of gold coins. Once there is a loss, I can't even afford to lose it if I sell her. Here, Lin Yi took out another 10,000 red dragon fruits and handed them to Sophia. He said, after selling the red dragon fruits and fairy spring water, use part of the gold coins to buy food, which is enough to feed 10,000 people for a month. Quote. Okay, Lord Lord, Sophia nodded. In Forest City, food is the least valuable thing. 
There is a forest of life that is rich in products, and there are chambers of commerce from all the major human kingdoms stationed there, so purchasing food is very simple. Even if it is to purchase an army worth one million, it will not be a problem as long as you have gold coins. Lin Yi asked, How long does it take for you to make a round trip? Sophia thought for a while and said, We set off from Forest City a week ago, which means it will take nearly half a month to travel between Golden Oasis and Forest City. Including the sale and purchase of goods. In about three weeks we will be able to return to the Golden Oasis. This time is already very short for a long-distance trade. This time her caravan set out Fort Bastion City in the Sand People Kingdom, and she was ready to trek in the Sand Sea for up to two months. It takes too long, Lin Yi said to Sophia. I will give you half a month. You can leave the goods escorted this time in my territory and travel lightly. Hearing this, Sophia immediately looked at the old mage Simon standing aside. Master Simon nodded, said there was no problem. By traveling light, they can save a lot of time. When returning to the Golden Oasis, they can also purchase a large amount of space equipment in advance to store the food Lin Yi needs, which can save time. If you work harder, half a month is enough. Sophia said to Lin Yi, Lord, don't worry, we will definitely return to the Golden Oasis within half a month. Very good. Lin Yi nodded with satisfaction. He could definitely afford to wait for half a month. If nothing else happens, he will earn millions of gold coins by then. Even if converted into Lord Gold Coins, there are still hundreds of thousands of them. This gold coin is enough to upgrade the territory's special buildings, including military buildings, to a very high level. You guys set off immediately. I'm waiting for your good news in the Golden Oasis. Quote dot 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 quote. Sophia's eyelids twitched slightly. Is it really in such a hurry? She also planned to rest for a night in the Lord's territory. Take a nice bath, comma. After replenishing the water source, Sophia and the old wizard Simon set off again with the caravan. The goods arrived fully loaded. When they left, they only took with them a dozen swordsmen who were traveling with them. All goods are left in Golden Oasis. This made the swordsmen in the caravan very puzzled. They didn't know what their master had discussed with the Lord, and they thought it was because the negotiations didn't go smoothly, which led to all the goods being detained. However, facing the doubts of the swordsmen, neither Sophia nor the old mage Simon gave an explanation. Because the relationship is too big. They carry millions of gold coins, so how can they dare to cause trouble? When the group of people left the golden oasis far away, Sophia whispered with emotion, what an adventure. That lord is also very courageous. Aren't you really afraid that we will take advantage of his things? Old Master Simon shook his head and said, The lord's tone and attitude made me feel that he didn't care about this little cargo. This also made me believe that there is a great and powerful man standing behind him. If we are greedy for his property, even if we can escape for a while, we may have to flee in the future. The immediate benefits are nothing compared to the longer-term future. Sophia also agreed upon hearing this. The commission of 3% may seem low, but the total value of the goods is high. Even if the commission is only 3%, they can still earn hundreds of thousands of gold coins. And this is only the first time we have collaborated. As long as they can handle this transaction well, there will be many opportunities for cooperation in the future. The most important point is, they do not have to bear the profit and loss risks of trade. All the goods come from the Golden Oasis. All they have to do is sell the goods, and they can get a share of whatever they make. Looking forward to the next meeting with the Lord. When the time comes, I will stay in the Golden Oasis for a few days no matter what. Old Master Simon Golden Oasis, near the fairy fountain. The old butler who owed Dean asked in confusion, Young master, do you trust the crystal merchant guild so much? After all, it is fairy spring water worth millions of gold coins. In comparison, although 10,000 red dragon fruits are not valuable, they can still be sold for hundreds of thousands of gold coins. None of the tulip family in its heyday had such financial resources. With such an astonishing wealth, even a strong saint rank man might be tempted. However, his young master handed it over to an unknown chamber of commerce to handle, which made the old butler who owed Dean worry that the people from the crystal chamber of commerce would never come back. Lin Yi smiled and said, It's the first time we meet, how can we trust you? I don't trust anyone except my own people. 
Whether it is the Crystal Chamber of Commerce, the Fire Crystal Chamber of Commerce, or the Blue Crystal Chamber of Commerce, I will choose to make such a deal with them. This is also for the rapid development of the territory. If Miss Sophia is a smart person, I believe she will make the right choice. Besides, even if she cheats on my goods, our losses will not be big. We have no shortage of something as precious as fairy spring water. After saying that, he took the old butler who owed Dean to the vicinity of Elf Spring. The old butler who owed Dean looked up. Suddenly, I discovered that there was a steady stream of fairy spring water emerging from the ancient well that was almost hollowed out. I believe it won't take long for the fairy spring water inside to become full again. This fairy spring can be called a treasure given by the gods. The old butler who owed Dean exclaimed. Such an ancient well that can continuously produce fairy spring water is simply a golden mountain to them, and it is a golden mountain that can never be dug out. It is true that there is such a golden mountain. The little things the Crystal Chamber of Commerce took away were nothing at all. I just hope that Miss Sophia is a smart person. If she is smart and chooses to cooperate with our territory for a long time, her Crystal Chamber of Commerce will surely grow rapidly and become the transcendent level Chamber of Commerce in Forest City. Lin Yi nodded. Then he said, the transaction has come to an end. The old housekeeper is looking for someone to sort out the goods left by Sophia and store them in the territory's warehouse. Those fabrics still have some use. You can find some ingenious female sand people and let them sew them into clothes. In addition to cloth, there are also a large number of gold and silverware, fruit wine and other supplies. These things now belong to him. Okay, Young master, I will pass on your words right away. The old butler who owed Dean nodded. Then he sighed with emotion. In just one morning, the young master's level has been promoted again. Maybe it won't be long before you can set foot on the king level. A king level professional can also be considered a strong person in Stanlow Kingdom. When the Tulip family was at its most powerful, there were only five king level professionals, and your father, Lord Randleton, was only at the top of the king level. I believe you will be able to catch up soon. Lin Yi smiled and said, Where are you going? We want to build Golden Oasis into the richest and most powerful force in the Holy Continent. In the Golden Oasis of the future, even if a demigod comes, he has to lower his head. Hearing this, the old housekeeper who owed Dean took a deep breath. A look of longing gradually appeared on his wrinkled old face. He believed in his young master. Because the young master is a god-giver. This also makes him full of expectations for the future of Golden Oasis. If one day, the legendary demigod has to bow his arrogant head to the Golden Oasis, will the old king who came to Stanlow Kingdom regret his foolish move? Comma, the time comes at night. The territorial corps hunted for a whole day and harvested a total of nearly 2,000 gold coins. The total amount of various animal meats is more than 13,000 units. There are also some monster materials such as animal skins, fangs, and horns. Although not a single blueprint was revealed, a full five of gold coin bags were harvested, providing Lin Yi with an additional income of approximately 1,000 gold coins. At the end of the day, Lin Yi's gold coin reserves exceeded 5,000. However, he did not use this gold coin. Because after 12 o'clock in the evening, his super divine level Lord Talent Myriad Race's favored one will be refreshed, allowing him to obtain a new unit building. He planned to use these 5,000 gold coins to upgrade the level of the new military building. Comma, let's talk about the sand people. After a hard day's work, the sand folk mined large quantities of stone and wood. They piled up directly into two big mountains in the training square. That totals nearly a hundred thousand units. As of now, Lin Yi's territory has a total of more than 85,300 units of timber and more than 46,000 units of stone. Resources have increased dramatically, and the next natural step is to upgrade the buildings in the territory. Lin Yi first upgraded the livestock farm to high level, consuming 50,000 units of wood. The warehouse, which was originally a low level, was upgraded to a high level at once, consuming a total of 33,000 units of wood and 11,000 units of stone. Comma, storehouse, level, high level, supplies that can be reserved, 50 million units. Next level, large warehouse, upgrade requirements, 300,000 units of wood, 100,000 units of stone, 10,000 units of refined iron. 
comma, livestock farm, level, high level, building information. You can raise various livestock in the livestock farm, including riding pets and magical beasts. Closing square bracket. Building effect. The fertility of livestock is increased by 10 times, the growth cycle is shortened proportionally, and the probability of achieving bloodline evolution is further increased. Closing square bracket. Next level. Large livestock farms. Upgrade requirements. 500,000 units of wood. Special reminder. Improving the level of the livestock farm can increase the probability of livestock bloodline evolution. Closing square bracket. Comma. After reaching high level, these two territory buildings will no longer need to continue to upgrade their levels for a short period of time. Because whether it is upgraded to a large warehouse or a large livestock farm, hundreds of thousands of units of resources are consumed, and the pressure is still great. Especially the warehouse, high-level warehouse, 50 million units of reserve capacity. Enough to last me a long time. To be honest, Lin Yi really wants to experience the feeling of being liquidated, but it is obviously not easy. Without thinking much, he immediately received the rewards of Side Mission 2, which were 500 gold coins and a bottle of Fast Animal Growth Potion. Animal Rapid Growth Potion. Level. Low Level. Effect. Depending on the level of the target breeding animal, the growth time can be reduced by up to one-third. Closing Square Bracket. Usable Times. Five Times. Special Reminder. The effects of Rapid Animal Growth Potions cannot be superimposed. Animal rapid growth potions of the same level can only be used once in the same area. Closing square bracket. Comma. Almost the same as the fast plant growth potion. The number of uses is 5. Lin Yi immediately came to the shore of Sapphire Lake and poured all the potion in the bottle into it. The lake suddenly boiled. Countless fish are jumping happily. Whether it is the silvertail fish raised by Lin Yi or the native common fish in the lake, they are all growing at a speed visible to the naked eye especially those native common fish species, their size has increased several times. Some large fish species are almost over one and a half meters long. It can be said that he is fat and strong. Lin Yi plans to hold a harvest festival at the right time, catch all the native fish species in the lake, and provide extra meals to the residents of the territory. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.